Red Hot Comic Book Movie News. Defenders of the Earth. Defenders. The Weekly Planet. The Weekly Planet. Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday, and with me, as always, uh, joining me for the spookiest time of the year, and I'm not just talking about tax time. Oh, no! He's attempting to ah. pr- he's attempting to create, r- produce something from his. Oh, there it is. My phone was on silent. Wow. Okay. Yeah. It's now, Nick Mason. Hello. It's great to be here. Now, now, um, he's got an air horn going. He's got an air horn on his phone. Um, you should know that started with an elaborate ruse. He produced his phone. I do actually have to do the thing that I said. Okay, though. but he pr- he produced his phone and then he then he he ma- he waffled on about some sort of family thing that he had to take care it's of true. on his phone. And, and so my guard was let down. I'm like, this is just a normal man holding a phone very close to a microphone <laughs> because of a family thing. Family thing. You know, and I respect that. Yeah, yeah. And then he did this thing with this air horn. Yeah. You know? But I blew it for a time. You did blow it, yeah. Yeah, I was tapping it. It wasn't doing nothing. No, that's true. Yeah, but anyway, happy mm. spooky season, everybody. Thank you. Um, how do you feel? What do you what The do you, same. Yeah, yeah? I feel the same. Okay, cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah me too. Well, that's great. Pretty great, right? We'll do some horror stuff, won't we, at some point? <laughs> so sure. Got some other things Maybe we'll talk to. about a Saw movie, you know? Yeah, we were going to do The Exorcist, the new one, but um, apparently it's dreadful and I don't really <laughs> want right. to go and see a dreadful movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Original di- director of the original X- uh, X-Files. The X- yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. Yep. William Freakin. Yeah. What did he say about it? The director of the original Exorcist, he, was, he, he heard about this one and he's like, I'm not a fan. And then he died <laughs> before he could see it. Final words? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Not yeah, a yeah. fan. Yeah. yeah. Great. Uh, so, Mason, the things that we're going to talk about this week. Oh, yes. Uh, we're going to talk about what is going on with uh, the writer strike being over and in the X-Men now. We talk about some Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> There's a strike in the X-Men? No, no. Who's the, leading the strike The strike in the is X-Men. in relation to the X-Men. It wouldn't be based, would it? No, it would be based. Um, academic, but what kind of academic? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Isn't he like civil I don't think rights and stuff? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, they all are technically. Technically, I, I guess. don't think so. I don't Some th- of them just like murdering. Cyclops is a real company man. I don't think yeah, he nah. would be. He would He's be, a scab. He'd be like, guys, don't. Don't, mm. guys. Guys. Yeah. Guys. Mm-hmm. Guys. Please don't, guys. Guys. Yeah, probably Wolverine. Yeah, probably He's Wolverine. a working man. He is a working man. Or he'd just leave. <laughs> he would just leave, yeah. yeah. He'd be like, guys, it's time to go on strike. Let's get on all our motorcycles and drive away. <laughs> We're going to drive into the Canadian wilderness. That's right. Uh, Wolverine, we don't. We don't Who's have... with me? And by with me, I mean I'm going alone. I'm <laughs> Wolverine. Right. Yeah. Oh, actually, I've got to talk about that character in particular. The character of Wolverine. Well, yeah, and in relation to a Taylor Swift Deadpool 3 speculation. Okay, sure. Yeah. We've got trailers ahoy for... Do you for... think that sense has ever been said before? The Taylor Swift Deadpool 3 situation? Yeah, probably. It's, I think it got said a lot of times this week. Oh, I see, right. We've got trailers for The Beekeeper, Silent Night, and The Toxic Avenger. That's right. We're going to talk about an update on the Barney movie. Okay. Um, the Mattel Barney movie that Yeah, I mean, da- Daniel Kalu was involved. It was going to be some sort of... Dark situation. No, it's not. Yeah, I know now. I, I know quote. now it's not. <laughs> yeah. I know now it isn't. I'm going to talk to because people got scared. <laughs> Investors got scared. Licensees got scared. Exactly. You know, we're going to talk about some uh, DCU updates, including uh, Peacemaker season two, Ooh. and then we're going to talk about Ahsoka oh. and what we thought of it. Oh, and we thought it was was it but there are time goes below bop if you do want to jump to that because <laughs> Colin, right. who edits this, yeah. is kind enough to put them in. Mm-hmm. All right, here we go, Mason. So as you know, this is via deadline. The writer strike is over. The actor uh, strike is still happening. They're... That would be a perfect air horn time. Oh, yeah. Hang well, on. Let me see what I have. Let me just unlock my phone. Okay, maybe I have. Oh, I have this. Hang on. Okay. It's good. Okay, I have this also, this annoying smoke alarm noise. Oh, that's great. Terrific. This is really unpleasant. Oh, it is. It's very authentic. <laughs> that's for that's for like a kid in high school and it, there's a there's a maybe there's a um test and he doesn't want to take the test. Yeah. So it'd be like do and then you know. He does the thing, he uses the app. Yeah, he uses the app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He simply uses the app. Simply uses that he app. simply says, Excuse me, teacher, can I simply I need use my phone? Can I simply use my phone during this test? And they're mm. like, Of course, young man. And then he does a thing and they're like, The smoke alarm, let's get out of here. <laughs> Um, also, uh, did you see that the um, the VFX over at Disney people, they decided to unionise as well? Nice. Which is great. That's, yeah. This is all good stuff. Oh, that deserves a little. Oh, yeah. What do you feel? What is this? Oh, and now they're kissing. Everybody, all the all the VFX artists are kissing. 
I like how you did a little shoulder wiggle. <laughs> when you, you're just copying me. This is my idea, Mason. I brought this oh, and all so? of a sudden... You, you got... think I wouldn't be prepared <laughs> with a weird sound effects board on my phone myself? <laughs> did, did you download that or do you have it? It's, uh, it's Pocket Sitcom. It's yeah. an app called Pocket Sitcom. Very good. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so apparently Marvel are now meeting with multiple writers over the coming months in order to, to take pictures for... Not pictures. Take pictures. Oh, pictures. P-I-T. For, P-I-T-C-H-E-R-S. Yes, pictures. Right, pictures. Taking some pictures. For the um, upcoming uh, X-Men team. Oh. Now, there's some speculation and maybe even some rumours that they're going to go with the original 60s X-Men lineup. Oh. Which might not be some of your classic characters that you know now. Oh, yeah. Um, do you remember the, the lineup? So it'd be... It's Angel. Yep, Angel. Normal Beast. Normal Beast when he's a normal man. Yep. Cyclops, Jean Grey, Iceman. Did you say Iceman? Yeah, I think, uh, yeah Iceman, yep. Professor yep. X. Yes. And the Brotherhood of Evil Mutants as Mastermind, Quicksilver, Scarlet Witch, and Toad. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Because I think people would... Beast has got the hands, though, and the feet, Yeah, he's right? got big hands and feet. Yeah. Yeah. I think, would people be like, this is too close to the first-class team? Because it's pretty close. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's true. But I think at the MC, at the MCU, most Oh, yes. As you know, they like to do like, uh, this is the authentic whatever, we're doing the real thing and mm. whatever, whatever. But a bunch of those weren't used in first class anyway. That's true. Yeah, I believe. Mm. I saw that movie. So how would you feel about that, though? So apparently they're not going to do Wolverine in it as well. Okay, I'll come to that later. Well, that's, you know, he's, he was not... He a, could do all these in the woods stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, mm. he was not an original member of the team, no, so... he came along and... Wasn't even original, originally a mutant. I think they should do the new version. He'd just be a guy with knives on his gloves. Wasn't he also a literal Wolverine that mutated at one that point? That was... Well, they they never put that in, but that was, a, that was going to be a plot yeah. reveal. And he fought the Hulk. That's correct, yes. Yeah, and I know all about it. That's right. Don't ask me any questions, though. Okay. So yeah, I, I yeah. Do you think though they do like they'd set it in the sixties? Did they? Would they set it in the modern day? How does that reflect upon like, for example, like Magneto was a what was a uh, concentration camp survivor from World War Two? Like, That's true. Do you move the timeline up? Like, what is it? Time travel? Have they lived longer? Like, That's. What's I mean, the, these are all great questions, and obviously you have to. You then have to factor in well, why have they not revealed themselves before? You mm. know, kind of thing. Yeah, I think there's going because there's going to be some multiverse stuff, and that's probably great. Another. I love that, James. Yeah, I know. I love that. We all love that. I don't think you can change Magneto's origin from no, there, like, like you, you use another like horrific historical yeah, event. You know, it's like <laughs> I agree. No, actually, no. You've changed my mind. We could just they could just take a poll on Twitter. They could be like, <laughs> folks, oh, we're yeah. leaving it up to you, the viewers. Which horrible historical event? <laughs> Uh, maybe a massacre yeah. or a war or September something. But where, 11, should, where, should, where, where could he be yeah. from, you know? Exactly, yeah. Mm. Um, so I know. Could he have lost all his money in Bitcoin? Oh, yeah. And that's why he's <laughs> like this. <laughs> could be real fresh and modern. He's got a bunch My of... My apes are gone. My, yeah, all these apes are worthless now. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I don't know. But, yeah, I, I agree. I think that's key to his origin. Mm. Like, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but, you know. I mean, they've sown the seeds where they're, they're like, okay, Ms. Marvel is an, a mutant now. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Uh, I don't know. It feels weird to just throw them all in in the present day and yeah. just be like, well, uh, you know, uh, uh, there was some sort of multiversal radiation leak and now all these people are mutants or whatever. Mm. It doesn't, like, it feels like a disservice to all the origins of the there characters, you, go, yeah. you know, like a Wolverine, for example. Yeah. It feels like it should be, at least some of them should have their origins in the past, yeah. but then you have to justify a way that they've just never well, emerged. It's, it's technically like Professor- Like the Eternals. Yeah, like the Eternals. Great point. Good movie. Mm. Well, because technically the school is secret, right? Oh, that's true. For some of it. Like yeah. the, the Professor X school is just like a school for nerds. For nice nerds. Mm, that's right. You don't shoot lasers. They don't shoot lasers. That's on the block. <laughs> None of right. shoot lasers. Yeah. You don't have a toad boy here either. Don't look. That's right. Don't look in the pond. Yeah. Don't look at all the freaks in the freak wing either. <laughs> you know, the ones that are really obviously freaks, the ones that aren't like super handsome James Marsden or whatever. Yeah. Just the freaks. Yeah, yeah. You know? Exactly. Yeah. And no, we don't I know, know that guy's a beak, but he's yeah. wearing a mask. <laughs> we don't know anything about the Inhumans either. Yeah. Don't ask us. Um, so there's also speculation this week because you might have seen that Taylor Swift has been hanging out with one Hugh Jackman I and one seen Ryan that. Reynolds and one Blake Lively. Oh. Um, who might, I don't know if she's in the Hugh Jackman, Ryan Reynolds dead. When you movie. say this, do you mean on set or just in life? No, they've been hanging out in life. Well, they're famous people. Yeah, they're famous people, but I don't know, man, because there's also been rumours <laughs> before that she was going to be Dazzler in... Oh, yeah, sure. When I say Apocalypse, but, okay, it, but right. I don't know which so, one. So Dazzler, of course, is the kind of the 70s, 80s disco-themed yeah. uh, uh, mutant. Okay. So, I mean, and this and was, who's also a pop star, which would, yes. you know... And seeing as how well that, uh, that tour 
the, the tour that they filmed is selling. I think yeah. it's done a hundred million dollars in pre-sales already okay. or something. So if you put her in this movie, mm -hmm. she's one of the few actual celebrities who would literally like yeah. it would be tens of millions of dollars. That's true. If yeah. they managed to pull it off. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I believe. Okay. Those Swifties, you know? Those Swifties. We're always out James, all I know, the Hollywood goss, is she's dating some sort of football player. Football man, yeah. Foot a football man. Yeah. And perhaps the, the, the boys are just going to a football game because I love. No, this has been other things as well. Whoa. Yeah, you know what I mean? Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. You know, Hugh Jackman's single. He's out in the world. It's true. He's loose. Oh, my God. He hasn't gotten loose in a long time, yeah, right. though. So. so you think he's going to steal Taylor Swift away from the football no, man? No, he's not that kind of guy. That's what I'm Mason. saying. That's what you're saying. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> he, said, he said that. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> well, then I guess it is what I'm saying. That is what you're saying, yeah. Mm. Should we do some trailers? Yeah. Trailers are uh, trailers uh, on. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. Uh, okay. Mason, you've actually yeah. been superseded by, te by technology. Wow. If you don't mind. Okay. That's not the one. Oh, my God. Hang on. That's yeah. not the one. Uh, James, here's your efforts right there. Hey. That's your efforts to be funny, James. Ah, I got a weird ad. <laughs> the app gave me a weird wow, ad. Wow, wow, wow. It's one of those things where, like, it's a guy and he's going to be crushed by diamonds or goo. Unless you or pull something. out the, the, the yeah. correct pin or whatever. Wow. Anyway, trailers wow. ahoy. Wow. How do you feel? <laughs> I have that one on the board. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, I have it in uh, uh, easy reach. I love this dueling thing we've got going on. <laughs> Me too. And I bet everyone else does too. Me too. Uh, so we've got the trailer for Silent Night uh, and The Beekeeper, which okay. is basically the same movie and concept. I guess that's uh, true, yeah. So Silent Night, we'll talk about that one mm. first. Well, th this is a return to Hollywood for acclaimed uh, Hong Kong action director, John yes. Woo. Mr. John Woo, who had some uh, you know huge hits throughout the 80s and 90s and then... <laughs> broken Arrow. Okay. I got excited. I thought I'd say Broken Arrow. Yep. <laughs> I <joked. Yeah. laughs> Hang on, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to see if I have something for this. Like a uh, like a cough drop? No. No? No. Like something to clear my windpipe? <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's people laughing about your imminent death. <laughs> I don't want that. Well, too bad. Um. Yeah, anyway, he's back. To do some more Hong Kong action. Right. Well, I mean, I was going to say, so, yeah, like you said, he's, he's, the, he's American. The movie, movie Paycheck. The movie Paycheck, yeah. So we'll see the what, what I think happened here is, again, like, um, because as, as I understand it, well, some of his American movies, he got pretty much free reign to do whatever he wanted. Face Off, he was yeah. allowed. Apparently, he didn't get any studio notes. They just said, do whatever you want, do a John Woo movie. But I think as he did, as he went through spend more and more time in Hollywood, they're like, can we have some more notes? Can we have John Woo but not as yeah. John Woo as John Woo? Because, you know, a lot of his Hong Kong stuff was, very, you know, extremely violent mm. and kind of, you know, and I and I think people, you know, tidying that up sort of took the edge off. They, just, made, they become whatever. Yeah, like yeah. Paycheck or whatever. Exactly. So, yeah, uh, and Mission, like Mission Impossible 2. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, who directed that? Who, who, who really, directed you know? that? Great question. Yeah. Maybe, I mean, he did technically. Maybe acclaimed director John Woo. Yeah, yeah, or Tom Cruise. But anyway, Silent Night, he's back. It's Joel Kinnaman. Uh, it's a big time revenge flick, yep. Christmas revenge. Yeah, uh, he's uh, looks like he's um he's he's part of he's part of a beautiful happy family, mm -hmm. and then I don't know random drug dealers or whatever yeah. kill his kid by accident, and he ends up in the hospital. But then he's like, I'm going to get revenge, even though I can't talk. What do you mm. think about that? Silent Wick. Now, do you think that this movie is going to be entirely silent, or do you think it's just going to be him who's silent? I think he's the only one who is silent. Yeah, I same. believe. Yeah, because otherwise, if they're all silent, mm. what makes him special? That's so true. Yeah, and they <laughs> can't be like. He's only one man. They need yeah, to do that Yeah, but a silent scene. man. Yeah. But a, he's only one man. Yeah, but a man who can't talk. Think about that. <laughs> so he can't insult us? Yep. Mm, well, but it, if anything, that's it, it, it's some of the boys are going to think that that means he thinks we're not worth insulting. <laughs> and that's going to be that's demoralizing yeah. to them. Yeah. You know what I no, mean? Right. So we've got to get this guy. Yeah, I completely agree. Mm. So, Looks really cool. Looks, yeah, uh, could yeah. be pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think about this one, though? The beekeeper, or as I call it, John Beekeeper. <laughs> Yes. Like John Wick, Mason. No, I love that. Because yeah, it's yeah. John Wick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also. What about B. Wick? Uh, that's better. What about B. Witched, the sitcom? <laughs> Not the movie? What about B. Asterisk Witched, the, uh, the Irish uh, pop group from oh, the 2000s? Oh, yeah, I remember the them. 2000s? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cool. I think they were Irish. They were probably Irish. These are all good things you've done. I think so, too. Uh, what do you, anyway, John Beekeeper, which mm. is what we've decided on. Yeah, so so he's he's just a, he's a simple beekeeper. Is he? Keeping it. As far as I know, I'm watching this trailer live. Yeah. As far as I know, he's just a simple beekeeper mm -hmm. keeping some bees on a on a property. Mm -hmm. But then the 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 lady who owns the property she she accidentally uh, 
she accidentally clicks some malware on a computer and all her money goes to one of the dancing Roxbury guys oh, no. from the movie A Night at the Roxbury. Oh, no. And then, but then he's a big crime Corky guy. Corky Romano. Yeah, Corky Romano. <laughs> and then, then he gets all her money and then she shoots herself, I think, and then it turns out that uh, John Beekeeper isn't a mere beekeeper, yeah. but he is, in fact, he was part of some sort of special ops group called the Beekeepers, the yeah. Beekeeper Program. <laughs> The and, beekeeper and boys. The beekeeper boys, and then he's going to get big time revenge on both. Because uh, he's all about protecting the hive, literally, and with guns. Oh, and yeah. Figuratively. The beehive, yeah. Beyonce's fans. Do you think there's going to be a moment where he sticks his butt into somebody and poisons them, and then he pulls back and his butt comes off like a bee? That's exactly right, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Because he's a bee. Yeah. Yeah. And he could say, oh, I'm giving you the ass." <laughs> you know? <laughs> And they would die. They would I think die. that's cool. But then he'd die. He'd also have, die, yeah. He'd have to be the last scene, obviously. Yeah, that's true. Now, I asked you this as you were watching it, because he's doing some American accent in this subtitles, right? Some. Because I was watching it on silent, yeah. so as not to ruin the sanctity of the podcasting yes. room. And you were like, no, no, you have to listen to this with the sound. You yeah. have to watch this with I'll the sound. I'll snuff out these candles that I light before that's we it. do the show <laughs> right. to set the mood. Yeah. Well, we, su- we summon the spirit of podcasting. Yeah, that's you know, right. We summon Marin. Yeah. We summon... Um, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan. Yep. A second Joe Rogan. We we summoned the impulsive crew with uh, Logan Paul. Oh, absolutely. Every day, bro. <laughs> um, That's the other one, but yeah, go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, <laughs> don't they share the same catchphrase? No. Huh. No. There you go. I mean, maybe. Hey. I don't think so, though. Anyway. Uh, I think, also, I think it's, did I say impulsive? It's impulsive. Impulsive. Yeah. So some of these. Check it out. <laughs> Only on Spotify. I don't know. Some of the scenes in this movie, or in the trailer at least, he's got something. Uh, Jason Statham. Who yeah. uh, did we mention he's in this? No, I okay. mean you did the voice. I did. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Uh, he, some of these scenes he appears to be attempting an American accent, but not all of the scenes. Yeah. And do you think that's maybe an infiltration thing? No. He's coming in. He's like, good day. Oh, no, I'm going to do. He my looks American. like the most British man there is. He does. It's the, the only it's the way he could look more British is if he had like the very pink tint. <laughs> and he was really mad at everybody all the time. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I'm mad because I have to wait in line at the bank. <laughs> Get out of me way, I've got to check on me term deposits, you toilets. You know? <laughs> All the things he would say. You say that to the people in front of him? Yeah, and the teller. That's not nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, That's rude. But I, I, think it, I think it's a case of, they. I, here's my guess, is the first couple of scenes they filmed, Yeah, they were like, try an American accent, and then it didn't work. So, so they went back to British, and now, but they didn't film enough okay. coverage. Yeah, they to, might ADR it? They might ADR yeah. it, yeah. But it's it's mysterious and mischievous. But I love the idea that the the timeline of this guy is that he was a some sort of special forces black ops green beret guy in a program called the Beekeepers, and then, and then he retired from that and he became an actual beekeeper. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. I think that's wonderful. I th- it'd be like if, I think they'd be the- like if um, Paul McCartney retired from the Beatles and he be, and he became a Beatle. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess that would be similar. <laughs> but instead he became a wings. He became a wings, which is fine too, I guess. Which have the be- Beatles have wings. That's true. Mm. So most of them do, or some of them do. But I think also they probably, because they the core belief of the beekeeper program mm. is protecting the hive. Yeah. So I think they build literal beekeeping into the training. Oh, okay, You know, you sure. do a weekend away and you yeah, learn yeah, yeah. beekeeping in the country. Okay, and they're sure. like, see, like the thing that we do. And they go, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> toilet. <laughs> I could stick this steamer right in somebody's eye. No, no, Jason Statham, please, please no. <laughs> Simply for the bees. Just for, yeah, just for the beekeeping. Uh, but it does feature some some classic beekeeping techniques yes. like smashing a big jar of honey on somebody's head and then lighting it on fire. I looked that up. Pure honey is flammable. Whoa. Didn't know that. Wow. So that's fun. That's well, then I think know. they should classify Capilano as a terrorist organisation. Uh, I think they, uh, they add. That's a brand of honey in it's Australia. It's true, but right? they add like various ingredients. I don't think that in itself is pure Do honey. Do you think you could re- reverse engineer it like how people in prison can reverse Vegemite in a beer? They can do that? Apparently. I bet that tastes fucking awful. Mm-hmm. It's not about that, is it? No. It's the principle. Oh, it's really? Uh, maybe. God, that's clever. Because it's yeasty. Yeah, it's yeasty. Mm. I get it. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Just a pillowcase and a toilet and then you've gone yeah, yeah. your way, I assume. Yeah. Anyway, uh, he wants. He needs to get revenge, so I think most of the kills of the movie are in this trailer. Mm. Like he, he, he's, he's cutting a swath through a well, bunch of- Well, I've forgotten of, most of them. A bunch of- he's, 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 Beating up a bunch of like hipster office workers in this mm. in this in this scam yeah. farm facility. Uh, he's blowing up buildings. He's fighting a lady with a minigun. He's... Do you reckon he's going to fight like a guy that like bring in the wasp? Oh, maybe. And he has to fight the yeah, wasp. Okay, sure. Or like a praying mantis. I don't think he'd be what able hates to... bees, birds. 
Uh, Flowers. Um, yeah, sure. Some kind of spray. Bring in the bloke who's allergic to bees. <laughs> that's why. But that's their biggest nemesis. <laughs> bees' biggest nemesis is a guy who's allergic to bees. Surely. I think it's the opposite, though, isn't it? I guess. Bring in a guy who's susceptible to bees. Yeah. I don't think that's a good idea. Well, will he have the most motivation? Will there be a moment him? where he goes into his pocket and he throws a fistful of bees at somebody? Like he's on the ground. Yeah, and he maybe. He's, down and out and he he's got a he's got a <laughs> cargo pocket. Yeah. And he removes from the cargo pocket. He pocket. He removes like one of those. Like the frame that's got all the, the, yeah, the, the bees in the it. The bees in the <laughs> yes. Do the, he probably has a bunch of those, right? Maybe. Like they have like a like clips. Yeah, like but he's reloading, like John Wick. <laughs> he goes around a corner and he flings some bees, and then he <laughs> goes back around another corner and grabs some more bees. Wow. Yeah. What about a what about some kind of Candyman crossover? A man who also is oh. covered with bees. No, that sounds bad. Well, oh, mm. I was hoping you'd agree with me, and then we do a great riff. <laughs> Well, no. I, I just realized I haven't seen those, so. No, I haven't either, so I'd be, be disingenuous. Sorry, everybody, there won't yeah. be any riffing. Hang anyway. on, there won't be any riffing. There won't be any riffing, so. 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 Uh, no, that's not quite right. <laughs> no, I don't have anything for that. I have. For no riffing. I have I have the, the dis one, but that's not the same. Uh, Shocked? Would we people be shocked if there was no riffing? Uh, I don't know if they'd be shocked. Okay. No riffing. <laughs> Pack it in. Pack it in, boys. Red, red card. <laughs> red card. Riffing's cancelled. <laughs> okay, that's great stuff. Great, good. Mm. We're totally worth it. Yeah. Um, we also got a trailer for The Toxic Avenger. That's right. So which is a remake. Yeah, of the Lloyd Kaufman yeah. series. The, um... if you, also, if you're a child of the 90s, you may have remembered the Ninja Toxic Turtles. Crusaders. Esque spin off. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, which um, I loved as a kid. I have vague uh, I liked memories the, of it. I liked the weird toys. Okay. Um, yeah, so apparently, you don't really see much from the trailer, but it's uh, of the Toxic Avenger himself. Mm, but it's Peter Dinklage? It, it is Peter Dinklage, but it's a stunt person with the thing and like a motorized head. Oh. Because the, the, the idea is that it's a janitor or whatever. I can't remember. I've only seen the cartoon who gets mutated and becomes <laughs> yes. a Toxic Avenger or uh-huh. Crusader. Mm. But yeah, it's got Kevin Bacon, it's got Elijah Wood. Uh, Peter Dinklage has mentioned, yeah, could be a lot of fun. Looks Nathan. suitably. Uh... It looks suitably trauma esque and like does, filmed yeah. on VHS kind of vibes. Yeah. So that's a bit of fun, you know. It's currently got a ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It's not even out yet. No, but it had an initial release, whatever. All right. So yeah, there you go. Wow, wow, wow! Another movie. Another movie bites the dust. No, not yet. It's not out yet. I think for the for the for everywhere. Mm. Anyway, this is why uh, th- there was an interview over at Semaphore, Mason. Okay. Uh, and it was in relation to Daniel Kaluuya's Barney movie. You don't know he is the star of Get Out. I do and know more that. recently. The, the the not the one after Get Out, the one after that one. Nope. Nope. Yeah. Mm. Uh, great movies. Now his version of Barney, if you don't know, um, you probably do, but it's a purple dinosaur who <laughs> helps kids learn to share and whatever. I'm like, I don't know. It was slightly after my time as a mm-hmm. young child, so I was like, this is dumb. I hate this. Wow. Yeah. Uh, and I was right to think that, but mm-hmm. um, it's previously been described as sur- surrealistic and compared to the works of Charlie Kaufman and Spike right. Jones. Yeah. I was like, this is going to be a weird as shit Barney movie. Yeah, yeah. This is the David Lynch <laughs> of, of ch- adaptions of children's properties. Yeah. This is real Twin Peaks, The Return. Your kids are going to hate this. <laughs> it's going to be Mulholland Drive, but Barney's on Mulholland Drive. <laughs> He's in a little car. <laughs> yeah. Driving down Mulholland Drive. But uh, Marcel, M- Mattel CEO, uh, Yunon Kreis, says... Look, it's too early to be specific. Listen, back up. Yeah, yeah. But I can tell you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We didn't say this was going to upset anybody's sensibilities, okay? Yeah. Settle down. Exactly. But I can tell you we're taking a fresh approach that will be fun, ent- entertaining, and culturally orientated. We're going to do Barbie. No, and then it's, yeah. Just Barbie again. And, and it says, it will not be an odd movie. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. Well, that sounds really promising. Doesn't it, though? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah. So that's what you want, you know. Okay. It'll be harmless, and we're going to steal as much of the premise of Barbie as we can, even though it's a purple dinosaur. That's right. Yeah, and I love that. That's very cool. I think so yeah. too. Check this out on the monitor. My daughter mm-hmm. uh, Zippy's got on the bed, <laughs> <laughs> We're having a little cuddle. You mate. stinky dog. Yeah, she is <laughs> very annoying. Mm. I like her though, even though you hate her. Um, that's true. Uh, here we go, Mason. What's next? James Gunn gave us a DCU Peacemaker season two update. Ooh! Apparently, he's currently writing it. Writer strike is over. That's true. Uh, but he was asked if Peace- don't tell me you weren't secretly writing. I was thinking that you mm. would be right anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, you, you maybe you be like, oh, now the writer strike's over. I'm just going to do some writing. Oh, I've come up with six scripts in a day. Yeah. Look at that. Should, that's how good I am you at should writing. Pay me more. 
Who's he talking to? He's the boss. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> David <laughs> Zaslav, I yeah, guess. Yeah, David Zaslav. Yeah. Mm, normal yeah. man. Normal man. Very normal. Very cool and normal. Uh, he was asked if Peacemaker, this is on Twitter, season two. Oh, what, the other Twitter? I don't think he's on Twitter. He's on the other one. Oh, Blue Sky? One of them. I don't know. Uh, if Peacemaker season two is part of the upcoming DC universe and whether or not the continuity would be addressed. And he replied, yes and yes. As in, it's part of the new DCU and continuity will also be addressed. All right, then. Uh, presumably some people come over and are aware of, that there was a multidimensional thing. Do you think it's going to be a multidimensional thing? No, I mean that there was like a multidimensional kind oh, of situation. Oh, I see. Yeah, mm. I don't know. I don't care. I think they're not even going to mention it. Just start it. again. Who I cares? think. I think the multiverse is off the table now. Yeah. I think they I think this particular this particular universe they tried multiverse stuff. They got burned very badly. Yeah. Uh, and I think they're just going to be like this is peace, new peacemaker is going to be very mundane. Mm-hmm. It's going to have some of the some of the old characters that were not killed in the previous season. Yep. So the two characters that weren't killed in the previous season. Great, love it. Uh, and we're just not going to mention it. Yeah. Maybe there'll be a little joke. Maybe there will be a little, a little joke. joke, yeah. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Apparently it's going to be the project after Superman Legacy, so that's still quite I love that. a while away. Apparently the new Peacemaker comic book series is quite good. Peacemaker oh, okay. tries hard. Okay, so, great. Where they've, they've, because for people who don't know, Peacemaker in the comic books was like a very, very serious character, very grim and gritty yeah. sort of 80s, 90s character, and, and uh, it looks like they've revamped him to be silly now. To be like the thing. Yeah. To yeah. be like the popular thing that people like. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to the version of him that nobody read yes. for 20 years, 30, <laughs> maybe 40 years, 30 to 40 years. Absolutely. Like there's a lot. I mean, every every single time, like, again, I think we mentioned in previous weeks, they're bringing over, you know, Peacemaker's coming back and obviously Vigilante is coming back. And a lot of people going, oh, uh, you would, a, a, a classic James Gunn destroying the characters that I love. And it's like I read Vigilante and Peacemaker in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah. It, but it's nobody was going to make those into movies Absolutely or not. TV series because the Punisher exists. Or and if they did, it would done. be nothing. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So settle down. Did you see? You might not have, but on I saw on Instagram the Hot Toys department. Oh yes, they uh, released a figure for the Ezra Miller version of the Flash. That's the younger Barry Allen. Okay, the one that turns into the Dark Flash. Thousand, yeah, just a thousand comments that are just like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, nobody wants this. <laughs> but it's also like they would have designed that. Months ago. That's true. You yeah. know, so it's just yeah, like, yeah, okay, yeah. I guess. Mm. I also noticed they quietly killed, you know, that robotic transforming Optimus Prime? Yeah, the RoboSan one. Yeah, they made a Buzz Lightyear or they were going Did to. They? But for the reboot, and oh, then they the boring just quietly one. killed it. Interesting. Because yeah. yeah. they've done. They did they've a, got a bumblebee that doesn't transform. That doesn't transform and they've got a no, Grimlock. Got a Grimlock yeah. why, why a bumblebee that doesn't transform? It's a great why, question. Why bother? Why bother? Why bother? Why bother? And why not, why not send them to us? Because there are thousands of dollars and we can't. Give us one. We can't justify that. So just give us one. Give we'll us put one. on the table. We'll do one Instagram post where it transforms and falls off the table. <laughs> and that's it's worth it, I think. Yeah, I completely yeah. agree. James, have you, side note, have you seen the new Ultra Magnus? No, the the, the toy. Yeah, they've done a new version of it. Oh, sure. And you know, you, know your, you know your number one complaint about Ultra Magnus toys. He sucks, he's boring. Yeah, he's but got, the other thing. The inside of him is Optimus Prime. This, wasn't, this one doesn't have the inside of Optimus Prime. Which just version trans- is it? Uh, it's the Studio, Studio series? series, I think. He's really wide. All right. But he doesn't have the he doesn't have Optimus Prime in him. I think I'm going to get one. Yeah, this is all right. He's so wide. He's so wide. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's very cool. I don't like him. <laughs> Again, as we talked about when we cover the movie, yeah, 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 he yeah. hasn't got it. He the dropped, juice. He doesn't he have the dropped Riz. the fucking Matrix of Leadership. Yeah, I know. You don't get to be the, the leader if you drop well, the Matrix of Leadership. Well, you can do that because he's, op- he's got a Matrix of Leadership in him and he can drop it. What? Does he? And he can also fall. He does have one in him. And he can also fall to bits. Who gave like this in the guy? Movie. Oh, good. Who gave this guy the Matrix of Leadership? Optimus Prime did. Oh, yeah, he did. He dropped it. Anyways, um, this is something I just wanted to talk about. Uh, oh, actually, before we do that, okay. I have one piece of news. Okay, here we go. Uh, this is uh, our famous segment, James. Uh, you're going to like this. Uh, the segment. Oh, no, that's devastating news. Oh, yeah. Where one of us provides a piece of news, person yep. A, then person B says, oh, no, that's devastating news. And, it's, and then, oh, yep, go on, and then person A has to guess yep. whether person B was being sarcastic when they said, oh, no, that's devastating news. And it also, like, if it is truly devastating, it often would be more devastating than a person's death. That's true. Yeah. Anyway, this is from TMZ.com. Uh, Kevin Spacey rushed to hospital, dot, 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 fear of heart attack. So Kevin Spacey feared he could be suffering a very serious medical emergency overseas, rushing to the hospital after having symptoms of a heart attack. At the the Tashkent International Film Festival, during its closing ceremony, his entire arm went numb for about eight seconds while taking a tour of the museum. 
uh, in the city of Samarkand earlier in the day. Fearing he was having a heart attack, Kevin said he raced to the hospital. Luckily for Kevin and festival organisers, he ended up being fine and was able to attend the festival and give a speech later that night. Oh, no, that's devastating news. Sarcasm? That he didn't die. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That he so you were being genuine. I was, Good yeah. trick, good yeah. trick. Look, I know he technically got away with it, whatever. All his crimes. Yeah. Alleged. <laughs> Alleged. Alleged crimes. But that is actually ge- genuinely devastating news. Yeah. God. It's never who you want, is it? Right. Every now and then, mm. just give us a win, you know? Universe, if you could. If you wouldn't mind. Yeah. Who died recently that was good? There was somebody. Heaps of people. Yeah, but it was someone really specific that oh. I can't remember. It was a really good one. <laughs> Actor? Remember. No. Director. No, it was like what a... What are your family members? Po- no, I wish. Uh, it was like a politician or something. Interesting. Can't remember. Mm. Anyway, it was a really good one. Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> that, that was devastating. Mm. Uh, but anyway. Anyway, I just want to talk about this, Mason, because next Saturday, the 14th in Australia, mm. we're actually happening, having a referendum. Now, this might not be relevant to anybody else in the world, but I think it's important so to know anyway. So just skip it. Just skip it. Yeah, you can it. skip it, yeah. So the idea is that uh, it's... Uh, the ch- to change the constitution to recognise the first people peoples of Australia by establishing a body called the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Voice. And voters will basically be asked, is this something you want, yes, or is this something that you don't want, no. Mm. Now, this is a measure I, saw, I, saw, I also feel don't think goes far enough to deal with, like, ad- Indigenous issues. People might know that I did for, like, a, for a year. I lived in an Indigenous community and I taught there. Mm-hmm. And that's not to say that my experience is indicative of everybody's experience, but from my understanding of it, these are, there's are so many issues that need to be tackled that are not mm. and that either are ignored or the people who are involved in it uh, either don't see the problem or, or do not care or they ask people like me when they should be asking people who maybe are uh, First are, Nations. Are, and, are, and are affected by that in some exactly. way. Because we are personally we are not no. affected by it. We will not be affected by it. In the past, there have been these sort of bodies, these these mm. advisory bodies, uh, but they've been around for a bit and then they've been removed. Uh, yep. But so this would sort of enshrine it in the constitution. So they're, like they're a bunch of other shit. Yeah, yeah, and they've been trying to spook people by being like, "Well, if we do this, and the next thing you know, like Australians who came over here in the first fleet, like white Australians or whatever, you're going to lose your homes. They're going to give them to all the indigenous people. There's all this like bullshit going. That's nothing to do with any of that. It won't happen because like big real estate companies exactly will not let it happen. Yeah. Again, I think that this this is not something that I think it's like a minor step in like a lot of yeah, steps that need to be taken. Absolutely, um, and I think a lot of people. I think some people would probably say, "Well, if it's if it's not if 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 it's only a small step, why bother? You know, yeah. well, let's wait until it's it's exactly, the, it's the yeah. full thing." But it's like you know the the uh, the perfect is the enemy of the good kind yeah. of thing. And there, I also should point out, like there are people who are indigenous who who have genuinely. Good opinions on to why they th- why they think this is not a good idea, and I think if you're interested in hearing uh, any of that, uh, Tom Tanaki has a YouTube channel. Uh, he does a lot of um, he does a lot of work in Australia with like with various groups who are disenfranchised, and he's got three separate interviews with different Indigenous voices. One is yes, one is no, and one is un- undecided. So I think that might, if you're undecided, because yeah. you can vote whatever way you want, this might be a um, or if you just want to be informed, that might be a good place to check out. Also, right. if you like going to that channel and just watch him just roast Nazis and cookers and stuff, yeah. that's also fun. He's, he's part of the uh, organisation Yard yelling at racist dogs. Yeah. So that's a bit of fun there. That is a bit of fun. fun. So, uh, yeah, anyway, I just thought we'd, that uh, worth mentioning um, if people are interested in um, – yeah. and p- people probably know how I'm going to vote and how you're going to vote. Obviously do what you want. Yeah. That is just uh, – that is how things work. And I would say, again, look at the people who are telling you – to vote no. Exactly. What's their angle? Exactly. This, this, it would be my would be mm. my advice there. That's right. It's like the thing where people are like, well, unions are bad or whatever. But it's like, but Amazon hate unions. So like think think for a second. Oh, exactly. Yeah. What do you think that might mm. mean? What do you think potentially? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and a thing that I was gonna mention, yeah, yeah. uh, that there are a lot of advisory boards yeah. uh, that advise the Australian government on things to do, and they're often just like really rich businessmen, yes, or the Mineral Council, yeah. or the, the, and not the Mineral Water Council, no, which we love, we love that. <laughs> yeah, but that those beautiful low calorie carbonated mm, drinks, yes, mm, please. Yeah, Oh, take a trip to Dalesford. Exactly. Uh, but just yeah, just 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 people who have a lot of money, who have decided that they get some sway. Yeah, and I think it'd be nice to get some advisory boards for people who don't have the money and the resources and 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 so on. Yeah. What do you think about that? I love it, Mason. Yeah. But again, vote how you want. That's right. 
I don't want to hear about it. Don't come up with these stupid fucking arguments either. I don't want to hear it, Mason. You don't want to hear about somebody saying actually trying to help out one group is actually divisive and racist. You don't want to hear that, James? You don't want to hear I've it. I've already heard it. I've heard it also. <laughs> but again, you can vote however you want. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it does matter, but again, it is your decision. Should we move it along? Let's move it along to a thing everybody will be on board with, which is our opinions on the TV series Ahsoka. Woo! Um, anyway, Mason, Ahsoka, mm-hmm. the TV series. Yes. It's Disney Star Wars' latest Disney Star Wars property. Yes. It's basically Rebel Season 5, five yeah. I guess, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, with some Mandalorian ties and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I, what We're tying together all the action yeah, figures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think the story was? Oh, come on, mate. Yeah, here we are. Oh, all right. <laughs> Let me wind The back. year is five years after Return of the Jedi. The sweet you, spot. Yeah. That's right. The Goldilocks region. Just perfect. <laughs> Just yep. the perfect place to have some adventures, you know what I mean? I agree. Uh, okay. So uh, Ahsoka's out there and she's trying to find a thing. She's trying to find a big ball. Yeah. And the big ball's got a map in it. What's it going to do? Uh, it's going to – It's got a, the, the map leads – going to lead the way to – are we in spoilers? <laughs> Should we just do spoilers? I think so. All right, yeah. Uh, I guess up top, if you want to watch it or whatever, I thought it was fine. Okay, great. What do you think? I'll I, leave my opinion I till thought the end. it started pretty dull and then I thought there were some good moments, but okay. overall I thought it was okay. Well, we have briefly talked about it. I thought it was better it. than Boba Fett season one or whatever. We talked about, we talked about I think, about episode one yeah. earlier on. Okay, so so Ahsoka's a... Ahsoka's a... The, oh, the premise of Ahsoka. <laughs> Ahsoka was... It's Anakin, five years after Return of yes, the Jedi. Ahsoka was... Anakin Skywalker's secret apprentice. In a cartoon. In a cartoon <laughs> uh, during the Clone Wars. Yep. But then, How uh, many movies is she in? None. Zero. No, she was in the first Clone Wars movie, basically. It she? was animated. Oh, I get it. I see what you're saying. Not a real movie then, is it? <laughs> no, it wasn't a real no. movie. But she's not in, she's not in the, the movie Clone Clone Attacks. Clone Boys. Clone, the big Clone Boys. And she's not in Revenge of the Big Clone Boys. <laughs> Um, so she's not in any of those, so she disappeared in between. Anyway, but she's still around five yep. years after Return of the Jedi. Yep. Uh, and she's searching for something, but also all her friends from the, from the previous from show, the cartoon. From the cartoon, they're all around and they've got different agendas, don't they? Yeah. They've got all sorts of things that they're up to and they want to get. Yep. And then, um, then they're all, they're all back together, aren't they? They're all back together. But they're like, I don't know if we can still get along after all the events of the TV show we were in. Yeah. You know? I agree. But maybe we can. Some of which we reference and some we don't. And some is new. Some is new. And some is new. And where's the where's that little guy? He's <laughs> off somewhere, isn't <laughs> he? Little guy. Where's the bad guy? Oh, Ezra. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's off. Yeah, he's off. Where's Zeb? Which one's Zeb? He was he, he was in the show. He was he showed up recently in so I didn't miss Zeb. No. Okay. He's like a big Oh, the gorilla. big monster guy. Yeah. And everybody assumed because they were like, they must have spent a million dollars on this. Because <laughs> yeah, he's the big purple there, guy. Whatever. Yeah. They, they must have spent a million dollars on that character model, so there's no way he's not going to show up in Ahsoka, which is a spinoff of, yeah. of, of Rebels. There's but no he way. didn't. He's he just didn't. not in it. He wasn't there. That's crazy. Anyway, uh, that's the show, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And so Ezra's hidden. Uh, in, in, we talked about the, the, the show, the finale in Caravan of Garbage, but he took Thrawn to an unknown galaxy. That's right. Using uh, thermo, Sp- thermonuclear light speed uh, whales, space that's whales. Right. Space whales, yeah. And yeah. so now. Thrawn is missing with his army. The and evil, the evil General Thrawn. Yes, that's right. And so the uh, Ahsoka's after a map. Yep. Well, the, everybody's after this map. Everyone it's wants in the it. ball. Yeah. And that, that's going to show the location of General Thrawn. And the bad guys want to go to wherever General Thrawn is and get him back and bring him back to the, the where everybody is, all the good stuff so is. They can do another big empire. So they can do a big another empire, and then all the 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 broken apart pieces of the empire will come back, and they'll and they'll defeat the good guys. That's we right. can't let that happen, can nah, we? They'll no. make a big Voltron, a big a big, Voltron. big evil empire. Voltron. And also, what's going on with Ahsoka and Sabine? What's going on with those guys? Well, in the cartoon, nothing. But now the one, one wants to be a Jedi or whatever, that's right, or something. And people had a problem with that. Look, I think the lead character, and we talked about this. Played by, um, she's taken over from Ashley Eckstein, who voiced the character, mm-hmm. uh, but Rosario Dawson. I think that it's written very flat and blandly. And I think mm. it is this idea of like this character is like moved into stoicism. And I think like the show, she does get more interesting in character development. Yeah, but I kind of felt like, and again, I should preface this, but you've seen most of Rebels. And- I've seen all of Rebels. Okay. Well, I've seen just the episodes we've covered on Caravan of Garbage. Oh, yeah. So I guess my assumption here was that, and in the in the original series, she seems to be quite fiery and, yeah. and kind of you know full of attitude. Young I mean, Obi Wan is that, and then he's not. Yeah, you know, yeah, so, yeah. And I guess yeah. my my assumption here was uh, that my assumption, assumption, yeah, my assumption was that there was going to be some sort of sort of reckoning between the person she used to be and yeah, the person okay. she has become, and somebody be like, "Hey, you used to be all like this, and now you're like this. What happened there?" And maybe she'd absolutely crack it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Be like, God dang it. Yeah. You no, know? but then. 
I remembered that the book of Boba Fett also had a character who used to be a certain way and there was an, and there became, com, became a completely different way. I think way. he got acid in his brain though. Yeah, and there was never any reckoning for that character <laughs> yeah. either, was there? But it was so the acid. I it would have been the acid, yeah. From the big sand. Leaked him through his yeah. top of his head his there. Ears. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so there you go. But um, I think it is interesting the way that she's linked to Anakin, you know. Yeah. I think um, – I don't know if you didn't see Rebels. I, I think they probably did a pretty good job of keeping people up to speed. I think they did. Like, and I think – here's the thing, though. I think that it – to me it feels like a – like a like a really base principle of Star Wars that sometimes you just get thrown in the middle. Yeah. Like that the whole deal with Star Wars, original Star Wars, first episode of Star Wars, yeah. episode four Star Wars, yeah. is that you're just thrown in there in episode four and yeah. you have to go, okay, well, this... I know, know technically they're very related later <laughs> or whatever. But yeah, you're in the middle of like a big ongoing yeah. galactic space And you battle. have to figure it out in that way. But I think... The, I mean, the difference is here is that they they have the backstory. They have though, the backstory. You know? And I think there is there's there seems to be a lot of like... A lot of stuff is sold as a big kind of, oh, here's a big surprise and here's this character you remember and there's like a lot of space left in yeah. for the audience to go, yes. Yeah. But if you don't, but also at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whenever I saw a TIE fighter. Yeah. Nice. He's got a beard now. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I also feel like it's unfair that you can go in here and be like, Oh, well, I didn't really understand any of these characters mm. because, it, like you said, it is season five of this yep, show. Right, They've just yeah. converted it to live action. Go on YouTube and type. Yeah. Go to Star Wars Explained. Alex will tell you all about it. That's exactly about, right. Yeah. You know, it's it, again, I think I've said this before, it'd be like if you jumped in on the Marvel Cinematic Universe at like Age of Ultron or somewhere yeah. somewhere in that way, and was like, well, I don't, I don't understand. They haven't fully explained all these characters. Well, they did in the previous ones, and it's yep. not for you necessarily. Yeah. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. Yeah. I mean, it is a big ask to watch, like, all of the Clone Wars mm. and, like, all of Rebels, though, at the same time. Yeah. But, it, it, but also, like, you reward people for... Yeah. For so, I'm, so on the one hand... And it's Dave Filoni's I whatever, was never you know. lost, but I also... Don't care. <laughs> I don't care. And I also know that, you know, I guess I would be more rewarded... If I'd seen all you the see, previous I, stuff. I did. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm completely indifferent. Yeah, right. Honestly, like, uh, I think mm. there was some, I think there was some stuff that I, I did really enjoy. Okay. But like when they're like, look, Anakin Skywalker's here and he's going to take you through the Clone Wars. And people were like, yeah. <laughs> I was like, whatever. Like, His hair's a slightly different length. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, it's cool to see Hayden Christensen. I thought the de-aging was great. And he's wearing a suit from Rebels. He's, he's wearing a costume. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> But I know, like, that stuff... Let me see if I have a sound effect for this. <laughs> that stuff, though, that doesn't do anything for me. Mm. I think, like, it's all well and good to be like, look at this, remember this. Mm. But for me, I'm like, yeah, but, like, what? What is? what else? You know, what's new? And the new kind of stuff is the stuff that I enjoyed on, like, yeah, right, uh-huh. concepts. Mm, not yeah. that you can't throw back. Like, that's fine. Sure, of course yeah, you uh-huh, can. And yeah. I don't know that's not, that's not for me, that bit yeah, necessarily, right. you know. So here's some... What, so what, what is... So Balin, Balin, he's a new guy. Yep, and his apprentice. He's Balin on the Jedi. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, played by Ray Stevenson. Yep, uh-huh. R.I.P. I thought he was great. Well, I mean, he's good. Yeah, um, yeah. He's he, got his own secret agendas. And what is it? Uh, they must have cut some of that out, right? No, I don't know. I don't think yeah. they have. I think they've mystery boxed it. Do you think they re? No, I think I they think know. they full star destroyer full of mystery boxed. Oh, if my we can get, if God. we can jump, we'll jump. We'll talk about that later. Do you think? They've shot extra stuff they're going to use. Do you think they're going to CGI him or do you think they should oh, re- right. I think they should recast. So I saw yeah. Lee Schreiber. I oh, yeah, that okay, right. Good. I mean, it's He sucks. doesn't need to do it because he's got Ray Donovan money. That's and true. And he's got Ray Donovan he the got movie Ray money. got Ray Donovan's money? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know he knew him. <laughs> but uh, what do you think, though? Do you think they should recast? If or, they want, or yeah. Or kill him? Like season season two, episode one, a rock falls on him? I mean, I think they could probably do. Go, yeah. Where is, where's his apprentice now? Spoilers. Hidden. Where's his apprentice? Somewhere. Is she still on the planet? Yeah, she, she goes with the Raiders or whatever. Oh, that's right. She, yeah, yeah, yeah. She'll come good or whatever. Yeah, so I think maybe, I think, I mean, they could do a few things. They could recast or they could just, maybe they could have, they could open the the, the next season where she goes to his grave maybe and puts the thing on his, puts his lightsaber on his grave and it's like, oh, he died in between seasons. He died doing what he loved, he died, wandering in the wilderness. Because it turns out there's no food on this planet. Yeah, you know, for he example. died what he, doing what he loved, looking for a vague thing. Yeah. He didn't know what it was, so <laughs> that's ultimately what did him in. That's right. He's he wandering for. around. <laughs> And then at the end he was like, oh, I was just looking for a sandwich. <laughs> oh, I'm so hungry. I'm so bloody hungry. That's what it was. I just wanted some dimmies, some dim sims, James. Oh, I'm Sorry, I left. I left the room. Okay. 
He's doing great out there, folks. I should let the dog out. I understand. Hey, Mason, who let the dog out? It was James. That's James, right. James, James, James. Very good. Mm. I saw something the other day that said the Baja men were founded in 1977, and I just need to check if that's okay. true. Okay. Right. Maybe it's a Menudo situation. What's a Menudo situation? Ricky Martin was in Menudo, which was, was like a um like a boy band that had constantly rotating Menudo like men, men. Menudo men and boys. Yes, that's right. Uh yeah, they started in uh the Bahamas in 1977. Well, that'll explain the name. That's terrific news. Mm-hmm. I'd imagine going that long and then getting God, who let the dogs out. God yeah, damn, absolutely. Impressive. And stuff. they would have hit who let the dogs out right at the sweet spot yeah. where like people had to buy CD singles yeah. and like you could be put you put in a movie about animated dogs or whatever. Yeah, and you'd man. Be making that mint, you know, cats and dogs, cats and dogs, exactly. Cats and yeah, dogs, yeah, that's yeah. right. Exactly. Oh, anyway, we're gonna start talking about Ahsoka again. Oh yeah. So um, okay. So mm. what? What? Uh, okay. Let, let's. Here's a few things. Okay. Okay. How did you feel about? The relationship between all the re- returning characters and recurring characters. How did you? I think did, did that work for depending you? Depending on the pairing, I think it. Okay. I thought the uh, Sabine and Ezra stuff was good. Yep. I thought mm. the Ahsoka and Sabine stuff wasn't great. Yeah. But mm. I think, but I do love the concept, and this is something that George Lucas has talked about that the Jedi monopolized the Force. Right. And he said anybody, like there are people who have an ap- aptitude for it, mm. but anybody can do it if given the training. And I think it was probably a little rushed the way that happened at the end, you know, uh-huh. where it just got it kind of like a. You switch. really got to do it. She now. really got to do it. <laughs> but I, I do, I love that idea that mm. the fo- and I, this is what I also liked about the Last Jedi uh-huh. is that it's not a legacy. Yes, you, it's you can do it if it's, yeah. if you if you put there. Do the you work think in. this is a deliberate, uh, not a backpedal, but a deliberate course correction from Rise of Skywalker, where it was just you have to you do have it if, to if you're you, the you have to be a Palpatine or a Skywalker. If you're not any yeah, of those, maybe. you can't really use the Force properly. Potentially, mm. but yeah, I, I just that that is the interpretation of the Force that I like. That also, and I feel that way about religion in general. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of it. Oh, here so, we go. Here we go. But no, but it's so much of it, and it's not all, but it's most of it is bogged down in institutions. Ran, mm. run by criminals, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. And they take faith and community away from people and they they hold it mm. and they like kind of monopolize it. Yeah. Whereas that's not what faith or community or religion that's to right. me should be. The church is like, you can't have any of these knives. Yeah. Only we can have the big knives. But I should be able to get a big knife You should knife get a too. knife. Yeah. You should get a knife, a big knife. for speak- free. Yeah, free knife, exactly. That's yeah. right. Speaking of big knives, there's yep. a debut of another big knife in this, isn't there? Oh, the big glowing. Special witch knife. I think it's from another thing. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. What did you think? Because some people would not be on board with this. Yes. What do you think about the weird force magic stuff or whatever? I like it. I like it too. Yeah. There was it's a... from the animated shows. Uh, yeah. So when, when... There was a dead smoke guy early on. Yeah. We were like, who's this guy? He's a when dead smoke guy. There was a, there was a comic book around the time of the Heir to the Empire stuff, the, yeah. the, the Thrawn trilogy. Mm. And I can't remember who made it. it. Might have been Dark Horse, or whatever. But it was set thousands of years prior to the, you know, the existing Star Wars universe. Yeah, I think universe. I know what you're talking about. And it was all about like pre Jedi Sith users, and they, it was yeah. all this weird, you know, magic and shape shifting, and it all yeah. felt very. It was very kind of gross and kind of Lovecraftian. Like and kind of, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you vaguely remember that. I, I can't do. remember what it is, but it, well, yeah, yeah. They've adapted. A lot of that kind yeah. of since. And you've, you've, yeah, so it is in Legends. Like we've seen mm. it and we've seen like witchcraft and that show yeah. before. I like the idea that it is it is all the force to some degree. Yeah. That you can shape it in different ways depending on how you learn What kind to of do power that. do you have? What kind of power do you have? Exactly. What kind of knife you found? That's right. <laughs> yeah. So that like, and I know. I found this, a big green knife, so I guess I'm a bad guy you're a bad now. bad guy now. But like, I know people, you know, uh, might be like, well, it's not as good as the book that did it. But like, that, like, I like the idea of zombie stormtroopers. I don't. And, and I don't necessarily think like the execution of that was mm. great, but like stormtroopers that you keep killing and they keep getting out. Okay, well, let's talk about, I guess, well, look, we've, we've very. Um, we very handily covered all the characterization. Some of it was good and some of it was bad. Sure. So the action. Let's talk about the action. Mixed. Yeah, right? Some of very it, much uh, so. I think there's a fight that Ray Stevenson has with, with Ahsoka. Um, Ahsoka. The first one. Kicks her off a cliff. Yeah, I think that one was good. And you feel like I feel like his movements, like mm. there was a lot of weight, kind of like he yeah. was almost kind of like using it like a big kind of broadsword kind of mm. kind of because he's a big guy, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I I think giving but then there was other bits where they're just Waving, waving and wailing, whatever, and yeah. You know? And I, are you, you're right. I mean, there is a. I think it's pro- almost certainly been turned into a gif at this point. Mm. But it's Ahsoka and Ezra and Sabine, and they're all they're all deflecting blaster bolts from the from yeah. the stormtroopers and the zombie troopers and what have you. On the one hand, th- that shot is kind of interesting because. Ahsoka and Ezra are like really good at what's yeah. happening, but Sabine's just getting like shots to the <laughs> Being, head, yeah. and like 
that Ezra and Ahsoka are deflecting blaster bolts directly back at the stormtroopers and Sabine's just like dropping them to the ground because yeah. that's all she can do. And I'm like, that's kind of fun. Yeah. But at the same time, that shot is it's just a stationary camera and it's not interesting. Yes, exactly. It's yeah. just kind of yeah. here's here's what you want, isn't it? Here's There's the a lot stuff. of like here's a stone room or an open room and it's got some pillars and you can fight around it. Yeah. You know, because it's the volume. And yeah, and it and it a lot of the fight sequences I think feel like and again, this is almost like this is such a fine line and I'm sure it's really difficult to do it on the day. Yeah. It, a lot of the fight sequences felt just like choreographed to with an inch of their lives mm-hmm, kind of mm-hmm. thing where it's like, okay, well, there's 10 moves. Yeah. We'll practice them all day and then we'll put it down and you go, okay, well, this looks exactly like a theatre production. Yeah, like absolutely. Where they've, they've, and, it, it, and I think you're right. It is like lighting and staging and yeah. the way you cut. From, just a locked camera and yeah. then just – but and it and, and again, I'm sure it is really difficult because nah, it wouldn't be that. Yeah, hard. yeah, we'll knock it out on the day. Yeah. It's fine. No, I'd, I'd prepare. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it needs to feel like a, a two people, and they want to get the kill shot, and it's just yeah. them bouncing off one another. But it shouldn't feel like they practice this in advance. Yes. I also think like if they're stormtroopers that, are keep, that keep getting up, just keep behead them. Well, yeah, you know, there's a lot of like, and you see this in a lot of the movies as well. It's cutting like against somebody as opposed to, like, through them. Yeah, right. And I know this isn't that kind of show. No, that's but true. But they're zombies, yeah. whatever. There are people were getting... I mean, we, people were getting... Ah, my telephone is big, doing a big ring. Ooh. Excuse me, this is Claire. She's in okay. um, Athens. Ooh. Are you familiar with Athens? Yeah. Athens, Greece. Parthenon? Yeah, yeah Parthenon. She's probably in the Parthenon. Hello, I'm recording a podcast with Mason. Oh, no, sorry. Hello, Mason. I'll go. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Well, you are eating the biggest pizza in the world. Oh, my God. Young man, are you going to eat that entire pizza? Are you, have you moved on from Big Sandwich? That's a thing. <laughs> That's a reference. The, yeah, That's yeah, a reference yeah. to the thing. Hey, I'll call you back after, yeah? That was my wife and son, Mason. My They're goodness. in Athens, Greece. Oh, yes. You can leave some of that in Collins if you want. I think it makes me look authentic. Dr- drinking in that Greek culture. Pizza. Your son had a vino. <laughs> he had a big glass of vino. Yeah, he did. Wow. Yeah. He had a sangria and a vino. He had two. <laughs> he had two alcoholic drinks. Yep. He's too young for that, but not in Greece. Not in Greece, baby. <laughs> That's right. Anyway, what are we talking about? In Greece, you have a beer and a vino every day. <laughs> and, a, and a cup of grease. Yeah, and a cup of grease, yeah. Uh, Ahsoka, the choreography, the fight yep. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I oh, think, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, um, the thing about zombie stormtroopers. There we go. And I know that there's been, you know, there was a Legends book that had zombies. A couple of them. Zombie yeah. stormtroopers. It was Han Solo versus zombie stormtroopers, I think. Yeah, yeah. And, then there, and I think there were zombies in Rebels or something, some sort of zombie type creature. Probably, some, yeah. I something. can't remember. But it feels like it's a hat on top of a hat, James. Oh, it's because, already a thing. Because, well, I mean, because stormtroopers are the zombies of the... I see. Disney yeah, universe yeah, yeah. because they're they're slow and not particularly good at what they do, mm. and there's essentially an infinite number of them. Hey, you're right because how much did the dynamic of the fight change when they became zombies? Not at all. Yeah, because no, right. they were there and they all died, and it was like, well, we did that. Boom. We did that because there's three Jedi, and and it's really easy to kill stormtroopers at the best of times. Yeah, yeah. Even if you have no skill at all. Yeah. Uh, and then they just came back up, and it's like, how do we defeat these guys? But it's exactly the same as if. They were regular stormtroopers, and you killed a few, and then just they just kept pouring out of the yes. door. Like it's the same thing. You're right. Yeah. Do you think maybe some masks should come? I and mean, we saw that with some of the other ones. Here's what I think, James. Yeah. Here's what I think, James. Like missing limbs and yeah, stuff. missing limbs and the head, helmets coming off and what have you. Yeah. But that would require you know individual makeup and what have you. Mm. I thought that I had. Oh yeah. Bearing in mind, I know very little about rebels, but some of the episodes we saw, there were clone troopers, mm. and even though they're all identical, they all had like different haircuts and like yeah. you know different attitudes and what have you. And and so I'm sure in the series, people got to know and love all the different characters. They love like, Rex. They, they love, love Rex, one. and I love I love this. I gun. couldn't name two. Yeah, yeah, but these are all my favorites and what have you. Mm. And I know they were in another another galaxy. Yeah, but it's it's witch magic. Wouldn't it have been more impressive if they'd been like, oh, you're pretty good against stormtroopers, but what about this? And then it was like zombie versions of all their friends from the previous season. Oh, okay, yeah. So maybe it was Captain Rex, and they're like, I don't want to kill Captain Rex. He's my friend or whatever. But I'll do it. I'll but it's not it. really them. It's like a Well, illusion. maybe. I don't know. Yeah, cool. Okay. But first of all, you'd have to get Tamuera Morrison to do all the – or deep yeah, fake him. I don't he'd know. He'd be fine. He'd do it. <laughs> That's right. Um, I think that would have been more interesting, but I also wonder if they... they you want the zombies to have a personality, Mason? Yeah, kind of. Don't you know anything about zombies? I know everything about zombies. Okay, sorry then. But also I'm wondering if 
they couldn't do that because if you do that, it establishes that what happened to those characters. Okay, yeah, so sure, you can, yeah. So if you know for sure Captain Rex is dead and they brought him back through yeah. a portal as a zombie, you go, well, now he's dead. But if they wanted to do a Captain Rex series next time, yeah. they could just be like, no, he's been off yeah. adventuring or whatever. Yeah, absolutely. I think, yeah, if you added any kind of personality, that's not a terrible thing. And that's what I liked about the setup. But first of all, I love that that image of Thrawn's ship over the big, like, obelisk kind of thing. And it's, a, thing. it's the old, sto- it's the old uh, yeah. Star Destroyer. And that and all the design on it. And all the armor and helmets have been, like, repaired using that thing they fixed, like, what's that called? It's like that Japanese repair. It's not Wabi Sabi, but it's something like that. Yeah, it's, it's, it's that guy. It's Lee Harding's Wasabi. That is that, exactly what it is, <laughs> um, yes. Whatever it's called, it's the. I'm gonna look it up. You break a thing and then you use. You like, bought it. You, and the, yeah, you, you break it and you bought it. The then, Japanese concept yeah. is you break it, you bought it. Where you use like gold or yeah, whatever to yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. then it becomes a more. I'm gonna look it up, thing. and yeah. you're gonna love it. Yeah, but like seeing all the stormtroopers' armors kind of like put together like that, I thought was a really in- interesting visual. It's called Kintsugi. Yeah, and I also uh, like, and there's the head stormtrooper, and that 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 sort of leads into you know how like they were samurai, exactly, it's, it's, yeah, hidden fortress, and that's right, and so on and so forth. And did you? I know I found it really distracting. I love the design though. You know that head stormtrooper who's got like the humanoid mask, yeah, but it looks like the BAFTA reward. Yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or it also it looks a bit like I don't know. It looks like. His head got microwaved and it splattered <laughs> in the visor. Like it got too big. And it might have. Sw- maybe he went into space and his head swelled up. <laughs> yeah. They can't take his helmet off no, now. No, they cause... definitely can't, yeah. Mm. Well, here's something I didn't really love. Okay. I thought the New Republic stuff was pretty standard, especially mm. after uh, like Andor. Because, you know, like yeah. Mon Mothma's here and I like Hera, you yeah. know, but it's just like Thrawn's coming back and they're like, well, I don't think he's coming back. <laughs> well, he is. Yeah. Well, I think you're all rude. I think we should not prepare in any way. Yeah, and then C-3PO's like, I'm a cameo. Mm. I oh, like yeah, of that, course. I guess. That's right, yeah. yeah. Um, how did you feel about Grand Admiral Thrawn? Oh, yeah, we haven't talked about As played about by Chad Mickelson. Yeah, he, look, I like him and I like the voice. And yeah. I think You the, like it a voice? I like it the voice. So I've got Athens on the brain, Mason. <laughs> uh, but... I I saw people being like he's too old. It's like yeah, he's like you would be seventy. Like he would at this yeah, age right. or whatever. But and I had the same problem with rebels. And I'm sure there'd be ways people who disagree with me. How is he any different than any other mildly competent? Because he's very competent. No, he's, he's not. He's got no James. He's got a million backup plans. And any time they tried to do anything, that was his plan all along. Yeah, he was like, well, this is good actually. Yeah, that's right. It's good. That's that it, it. It's good that a Jedi got on your ship. Yeah, it's it. it uh, the way he's better is that the 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 story says he's better. Yes. That's how it is. Yeah. yeah, and I think we will see that in, mm. like, upcoming battles and whatever, and I mm. hope we do at least. But it's a lot of, like, oh, they're, they're, they're coming close. They're going to get inside the thing. Well, why don't we shoot at them from our big ship? Yeah, that's right. That's, that's good. Why don't we send two TIE fighters after them? Mm. How many do you have? Well, we're managing resources. Yeah, but now's the time, isn't it? You <laughs> that's know? right. Now's kind yeah. of the time before mm. you do the thing where you go yeah, home. Yeah, yeah, I mean, there's, there's literally no other opposition currently <laughs> than these – Two Jedi and one sort of Jedi, and, or and really a bunch of, three, three sort yeah, of Jedi, and a turtle and some turtle men, or whatever. some turtle men. And re- realistically, you could fly like a hundred Tie Fighters at them and obliterate them. Yeah, but I guess you are managing resources, exactly. and that is probably your plan all it's along. Probably his plan all along. Yeah. But yeah, like I like that he's in league with like the Night Sisters, sure, uh-huh. and that allegiance is clearly like very tenuous, mm-hmm. and at the moment very mutually beneficial, yeah. but often like. He his his floor is, and he's aware of this that he he's overconfident. And he underestimates people because he thinks he's the smartest in the room. That's how he died originally, and that's he even mentions like he underestimated Ezra, and that's how he fucking ended yeah, up. Yeah, that's in the right. First he place. thought he was better than Ezra. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's right. Where he probably right. never even went to one of their concerts. That's basically. exactly right. <laughs> yeah, probably doesn't even have any of their CD singles. That's right. Like the song "Good," uh, <laughs> but. <laughs> Um, how how do you feel about that they were like, oh, my God, we have to go to another galaxy. What's that going to be like? It's kind of the same, isn't yeah, it? I think sort of grey. It's a bit, bit grey. I love the idea of, like, doing Star Wars somewhere else hmm. because then it's it's removed from everything. A car everything. park, for example. Yeah, a car park. A bin. <laughs> a stone obelix room. You know, right. whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just pretty much the same, right? Yeah. It's just <laughs> there's a weird thing and... Some bandits, and a, you know, yep. it's like the same. That's right. Some rocks and stuff you can fall off or whatever. <laughs> you know, some, you know, some big statues. I yeah. get it. Yeah, uh-huh. but I think the like the potential mm. to do 
and outside the regular universe storytelling, which I think they're, they're, they're which they I think they're hinting at and they're going to try to move towards. Uh-huh. But I think they then panic and they go, oh, "We'll do a Skywalker movie or whatever. Yeah, right. Know? We'll do a Ray trilogy or whatever." You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, I like the idea of it mm. more than I guess. Yeah, what we saw here. Now let me ask you this question, James: mm. Who were the statues of? I oh, know, I it's like the. <laughs> I don't know who they were. The father and the whatever. I don't know. Look, uh, there's okay. a bunch of theories. Yeah. And I didn't read any of them. Okay. Because if they're not going to tell me, I don't care. Yeah. Like, you tell me and, I'll, and then I'll think about Do it. Do you think anybody knows? Yeah. I think Dave Filoni has mapped this out. Okay. Do yeah. you think, because the, the Thrawn, know. who knows everything, and he's, he's, it's always part of his plan. Yeah. He was like, before we go back to the regular universe, mm. I've just got to put all this stuff on my ship. Yeah. What's in the stuff? Do they know what's in those boxes? Does anybody who made this show know what's in the boxes? I don't know. They I don't probably, think they No, they would. What do you do. think it is? I don't know. Crystals? Yeah. Smoke? Crystals, yeah. Zombies? Yeah. Birds? Flat pack TIE fighters? Yep. Like Ikea style? Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> wolves? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I don't Do know. Do you like all the wolves? Mm. Dave Filoni loves wolves. We've got to manage these resources because if you look on the box, you'll see there's two people yeah. assembling the flat pack TIE fighters. Oh, so, yeah, two people, yeah. You know, yeah, no, and then right. there's, if you don't understand how to assemble the, the flat pack TIE fighter, you call the hotline. Hello? Mm. We won't take your call right now, whatever. Wow. You're in another galaxy. Wow. You bitch. The wow. warranty is expired because you flew to another galaxy. Yeah, I don't think they know what's in the box. I, they know, I think. Uh, well, what do you think it is? I don't know. Yeah. Again, I didn't think about it until now. <laughs> until you ask me now. Because it would have to be something. It would be resources to make a super weapon probably. Yeah, well, absolutely. But, I mean, I guess it is. Whatever that. It could be a magic one or a laser. I don't know. Yeah. Because it has to be something that isn't in the regular galaxy. It could be the they... anti-Jedi thing. You know, in the in the story, the original Thrawn. No. There's like a creature that he wears which cancels out the Force. Oh, right. It might be something related to that. Is that him or Shizor? No, he has one too. Shizor doesn't the have green guy. Mason. Shizor has pheromones so ladies oh, love Oh, yeah, him. that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can be sexy. What did they – so when the Night Sisters made the special sword, yeah, did they need something for it or did they just use their magic? Uh, it's from – they had it. It's from a different thing apparently. Okay, right. It's like a magical sword. But okay. now uh, Ahsoka has magic sword. That's true. That's pretty sweet. Well, maybe I, – I was like, well, maybe it's – maybe you can make a big version of that. A big sword. That's where all the boxes were. A big galaxy sweeping a sword. A big, big galaxy sweeping sword. Flat packs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I don't like that. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one thing that I know people criticize and it's fun to talk about. When Ezra, he escapes and uh-huh. he takes the, the Imperial ship and he lands at the Rebels or yep. the New Republic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gets out of the ship in full Stormtrooper regalia. And they don't shoot him? And they don't shoot him immediately. <laughs> yeah. Which is kind of wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a, what, I mean, the reveal could have been done that he's in the armor yeah. and he walks down, but he's not wearing the helmet. Yeah, of course. So they get ready because he's walking down and they see the armor and then he's not wearing yeah, the helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. You could have done it like yeah. that. Yeah, and it's also not surprising to us, the audience, because we're yeah, not like, we know. that stormtrooper's got all the way into the rebels. He's going to kill them all. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, it's Ezra, it's all right. Yeah. Also, like, in a previous episode, to what they thought were Jedi, or they're like, okay, let's let the Jedi land, came in and killed everybody. So presumably they'd be... Uh, on a high alert for something yeah. like this happening again. <laughs> Their bosses are sent a memo around, listen, yeah. if someone who's obviously a bad guy comes in, what do we do? Get him a cup of tea. No, <laughs> we shoot them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. But again, all in all, like I think it got better. I think there were some throwbacks that people clearly enjoyed. Mary I, Elizabeth Winstead didn't have a lot to do, No, did I she? think that'll be some season two yeah. stuff. <laughs> chop it, it wasn't in that much. No, that's but, true. Um, My yeah, favourite, chop, yeah. chop. But a lot of people, like, I know there are a lot of people that did not like this, but there are a lot of people who are like, this is 100% my jam. Mm. Like this kind of Star Wars, yeah, yeah, this yeah. era, these characters. Call me the beekeeper because this the is beekeeper. precisely my jam. <laughs> what? My jar of jam. My jar of jam. Mm. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Got a review from Jonathan who says, I've wa- I've not watched Ahsoka, but do you think this era – it's not a review, I guess. <laughs> I've okay, not watched right. it. It's an anti-review. Yeah, but do you think this era of recognize a thing media will ever end? Or are we just are we just in this pandering to forty year old nerds forever now? But yes, I'm thirty eight. Also, Andor was good, but I'm an, but it's well, an the forty year old nerds have to die eventually. Don't yeah, they? exactly. Yeah. It'll become another thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's always it's it's never been more prevalent because there's never been so much media. That's true. But this has been happening forever. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. It's just there's more of it now. But uh, no, I don't think it'll stop. Oh, yeah, okay. Not as long as people it keeps making money. No. But again, we've talked about how like if something shows up. Yes. People don't like it, but yes. then it shows up a second time, and then people are like, "Oh, I love this because it yeah. was in the previous." Yeah, thing. I look. I kind of, I kind of feel like 
perhaps in the media landscape overall, yeah. the recognize the thing and thing will drop off because eventually like the box office will drop off. Mm. But with something like this, I think maybe Star Wars is its own separate ecosystem where yeah. it is exactly the thing you said, <laughs> which is like <laughs> you just you just replace, you put in a new thing and people hate it and then the next time you see it, people love it. Yeah. There's a critical reappraisal just constantly. Just by showing up. And it's, I like, think, it's like joke repetition, you know? Yeah. It's, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It becomes a running gag after a while. It becomes a running gag. Yeah. Well, we don't do those, but no. some people do. That's right. Yeah. Anything else? Um... No. Let's move it along. Okay, I thought it was okay. Yeah, I thought it was okay. I mean, but some people are going to be like, that's unacceptable but that you think it's okay. <laughs> I mean, okay in the sense that I, there was, I'd was, i rather be doing something else, yeah, I'll be honest with you. I thought it. there was some good tense moments, especially in the last episode. I'm not going to say what specifically because yeah. people will be like, oh, that was actually the worst bit. <laughs> I'll tell you this. If I wasn't... Doing to do if I wasn't forced to do this, I would have watched something else probably. Yeah. Uh, because if, that was seven hours of my life. Yeah. Uh, but uh, look. And th- this is your problem though. Yeah. You should have been watching week to week, Mason. I should have been. You should have been doing your homework. Yeah, you guess. crammed the night yeah, before. Yeah, that I did. Yeah, I crammed today. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Should we move it along? Yes. To what? We're reading what we're going to read. Very good. Yes. I'm doing the thing. What do you watch? Is what that the w- end of the sentence? Yeah, what do you watch? I watch Loki. I watch Loki too. Season two, episode one. I watched the first two episodes because I have screeners. Oh, la di da. I might stop or I might just keep watching it. Mm. I don't know. It depends. You're watching them on the laptop? I'm watching my laptop. That's not put it, put it on the big screen. Now, listen brother. to me. Listen yes. to me. I put on my laptop. Okay. I make dinner. I oh, leave yeah. the room. Okay. Come back. The episode's over. <laughs> I've done it. That's right. <laughs> what do you think about that? I think that's pretty great. Yeah. I think you've, I think you've got life sorted out. I oh, speaking beautiful. of uh, speaking of consuming media, I don't. I, is this out yet? I don't know if it is. Let me double check. Anyway, there's a YouTube channel that I love called The Leftist Cooks. Okay, and uh, I made a cameo, um, Neil from The Leftist Cooks. Are you Cre- saying cooks or crooks? Cooks. No, you, that didn't. The leftist cooks. Cooks. Like someone who cooks Who's food. cooking? Neil does it. Neil, and I think they're They could married. have been the leftist they, crooks. That's yeah. all I'm saying. They're a bloody, bunch of bloody crooks, you know what I mean? That's true. Bunch of bloody crooks. They might be married. They might not. I'm I happily hate. in the centre, <laughs> as you know, James. No, that's me. I'm in the centre. <laughs> they, uh, well, anyway, he, what are these crooks up to? He created an, uh, he's created a new YouTube channel where he's talking about, and the first video where he's talking about, like, consuming media. Okay. And, um, and, and like, going through all of the different things. Mm-hmm. And, like, and, and just, like, it's really hard to, like, consume everything and whatever, whatever. Mm. Anyway, so I make a, a small cameo in that. Oh. Uh, so I haven't watched it yet because at the time of recording it is not out. I see. But I will watch it. So if anyone wants to check that out, the video is called, I have it right here, it's called Nick Mason, Go Why on. Won't You Die? My God. And the answer's spite. <laughs> That's why. Uh, it said, uh, I watched every Marvel animated show on Disney+. Plus. So oh, I think wow. this is the one that I'm, oh, no, I am. I am in this one. Okay, I'm in the great. description. Great. Terrific. James, I love that. Me so anyway, too. Loki. We'll both yeah. watch Loki. What do you think about the first episode? I thought it was delightful. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I uh, I said I thought to myself, this is the stuff. I love the aesthetic. This is the good stuff. I you know it. what I mean? Yeah, you like the good stuff? It's uh, This episode is located almost entirely in the TVA from, yes. the, from the previous season. So, yes. but, uh, but yeah, great great look to that thing. Uh, look, I just, I just liked seeing Hiddleston and... Uh, bloody Owen Wilson together. That's right. Just knocking it. about. Two, I said, "Wow!" Two knockabout lads. Couple of knockabout wowing lads, wowing each other with amazing That's right. performances. And then K uh, K Hui Kwan was yeah. in there. Yeah, it's a great addition to the team. Well I don't fun. know. I don't know if he's going to be in every episode, but I hope he is. Well, he's in the a... second one. I can oh. tell you that much. Wow! And that's all that I've seen. But also, I stopped and I left the room. Okay, great. So, uh, okay, yeah. But um, yeah. No, all, all in all, I am enjoying yeah. it. So this is sort of you know this is a direct continuation from the previous season. Yes. They've, uh, the the one who remains was killed. And uh, that so him preventing the multiverse from forming uh, mm. that that failed. So the multiverse is here, and obviously all sorts of multiverse situation is happening. And uh, now this team has to deal with the consequences of that. Yeah, is that going to go? Who knows? And one of the consequences is sitting through a really long extended McDonald's commercial in episode two. Oh, so it look is for real. To that. <laughs> How did that come about? Money. <laughs> no, absolutely. Also, you can get. I don't know if you've been to McDonald's recently. No. Okay, but it, I I went. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I actually think it's bad for you. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they, you get, you can, you, I'm sh- you can just look this up on Twitter or what have you. But like, if you get a takeaway bag, it says on it like. 
the famous McDonald's takeaway bag as seen in yeah. and then a bunch of movies and TV shows. Oh, okay. And then it says, and Loki season two. Oh. And I think it's even on like the nugget yeah, sauce and stuff like that. they literally in the episode, I don't know if this, I guess it's a spoiler. They're just like, wow, what, why don't we just enjoy your great meal? It's like conversations right. like that. Why don't we pack this up to go because we can. Whoa. Like it's like that kind of. They pack it up to go? Well, they don't, but they talk about it. Well, we like, could God. do this. Yeah. Incredible. To have some of your shake, it's very good. It's it's literally that. It's yeah, right. it's fucking baffling. Mm. It's not baffling. It is. But what it's, it a, is. it's in the eighties that boot. Yeah, I think McDonald's like might that. have been better in the eighties. I think the aesthetic is better. Well, I think I it, part of me wonders because we see a little snippet that at, at the mm. end of the first episode, Sylvie yeah. uh, emerges in the eighties and she finds herself going to a McDonald's. Because she's never, it's, apparently she's never had real food before, it seems. Yeah. And the aesthetic of the McDonald's is, of course, that kind of yellow, brown, mm. off-white kind of vibe. And it felt to me like, did somebody just go, what else in time looks like the TVA and it's all brown and white and yellow? <laughs> yeah. Old McDonald's? Old McDonald had Do you a think bar. we could make that happen? Why didn't they use the styrofoam containers, Mason? Oh, that's true. Yeah. That's what I wanted to see. Anyways, this is a show we'll probably stick with, won't it? Won't we? Yeah, because we have to, and we like it. I like this one. I yeah, think it's no, a good. I agree. Yeah. No, it is good. And again, Hiddleston just killing it, mate. That's right. Doing a great job. I also, uh, I'm nearly up to date on Gen V. I think we. I don't know if you continued it, but I think we stopped a little bit short uh, <laughs> because we watched half full an episode. Opinions. Yeah, right. Um, I wouldn't say that I love it. Uh, okay. I think it's like it's it's. I mean, it's just more of the boys yes. with other characters. Mm. But I think it's you know it works in the universe and mm. you get a deeper dive into how these people come up in the world. And mm. yeah. in many ways, some of these boys are more like boys than the boys because mm-hmm. they are younger boys. They're younger boys. Mm. And others. And others and girls yeah, and so that's forth, right. yes. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, but yeah, no, all in all, I'm, in, I'm also enjoying that. Okay, Anything great. else that you'd be reading? <laughs> hmm. Ha. Hmm. Yeah. No, that's all everything. Right. Let's move it along. Let's do some letters. Okay. The classic one was, Letters, oh letters, we love you. Some letters, they're only a the take away. I'm going to hear right now, we're going to do letters. Oh, the Whoa. one thing that I did watch some of uh, is the new Folding Ideas video. But it's about... Um, oh, it's so long. I, yeah, well, so I, I started and I'm like, I, I have not Exactly. Right now, yeah. it's, it's the same thing. I, uh, I'm, I only remembered because I've got the YouTube app up yeah. now. Uh, it's called This Is Financial Advice and it's about GameStop and the kind of the stock market yes. gaming that happens and has continued to happen. And it's a, I, I, I'm like, boy, this is... I find all these videos very fascinating, yeah. but I think I need a full. It's a dense. It's situation. two and a half hours, and I think I need to sit down and watch the full thing. Yeah, like if I watch it in segments, I'll forget what I watched exactly, previously. Yeah. So think of it like a movie. Yeah, it's all all about those stonks and so forth. Boy, is it. Mm. Uh, yeah, but in terms of letters, if you do want to reach the show, you can hashtag Weekly Planner Pod on Twitter, or simply hit us up at the email. Hit us up on the email at Weekly Planet Pod at mm. Gmail dot co dot uk. No. Oh. Wow. Dot com. Oh. <laughs> what do you think of that? I loved it. I loved it. I loved that sharp but <laughs> brief air horn there. Because you couldn't achieve that with a real air horn. No, I don't think so. What do you got for letters? Or do you want me to go? You could go and then I'll find a letter. This is from David who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Do you guys ever read, just read scripts or stories your favorite movies are based on? I have, but it's more like, how are these formatted? I've been right, interested, okay. and I, I've done that actually for a lot of comic books. I'd be like, how do you write a comic book? And yeah, then right. I'm like, oh, this is very interesting. Okay. Yeah, I, I'll only ever see like snippets of a script. I think there was one for, we talked about it last week or the week before, No One Will Save You. Yeah. Uh, and there's, I, They put that up, didn't they? They put the, some yeah. of that up, and I think that the script has a lot of kind of, it's very stylized in the sense yeah. that it's like the script is meant to kind of evoke a mood. So like yes. there's one particular script page where it's like, it's it's all text. The entire page is text, and it's like pieces of it are jumping out, and it's mm. meant to evoke kind of like chaos and and. and I do like that because yeah. another thing that I've learned from my brief, you know, dabbling into how scripts are written is that oh, yes. there is no like there is a format, like there is a standard format, but you mm. can really do it however you want. Like as long as you're getting your point across, if you're invoking an emotion or a sense of dread or whatever, uh-huh. you can. There are no rules as long as it's clear. That's um, true, and that's cool. It is cool. It's cool to have no rules, but no. Oh, I think I read the Cursed Child when it came out. Maybe okay, as the the script of that. Oh yeah, because uh, you're that, such a big fan. Yeah, because I'm such a big fan. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, we all were at one point, weren't we? No. <laughs> 
I'll never commit to liking anything. <laughs> Therefore, I can never be burned. I can be like, well, I never found that good. I actually never found. I never that, actually found joy in my life. I actually never found that to be particularly magical. Oh, okay, mm. well, that's fine. Oh, you're looking at down your glasses at me, are you? <laughs> that's right. I don't like that. Mm, here's an email from uh, Garrett. Garrett. He says, "Howdy, y'all. Thanks hey. for all the pods. You're welcome. Howdy, James and Meso. Well, hello. I'm loving those howdies. Me too. Been listening to you two for a long time. Me too. And I just wanted to say, after years and years, I just of want to say I've been listening to us for longer than Garrett. Yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, I've been half listening. Uh, after years and years of listening, thanks for all the positive vibes and energy you've brought up, uh, brought to me and all of us over the last few years. Keep up the great work, gang, and keep getting those unhinged moments on uh, YouTube. We will. Uh, seriously, thanks for all the laughs and all the times you two have brought me out of deep, dark holes. Thank you, Garrett. Grab that jam, he says. We Remember with that time we saw Garrett and we threw down the rope ladder? Yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah that was fun. And then he went to get it and we just yanked it up yeah. a little bit and we're like, no, no, we'll, we'll bring it we're down. Good, we're, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we eventually brought it back up and we're like, now just get in the car. <laughs> we're in the car. And then we just nudged it forward just slightly. We're like, no, no, seriously. Seriously, get Garrett. in the car, man. Seriously, yeah. get in the car, Garrett. Yeah. Yeah, we're your favourite podcasters but we're also here to help. You're getting your car, bro. <laughs> Are we his favourite? Ah. Uh, doesn't say that specifically. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that then. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, this is from Red Lion Flames who says, hashtag Weekly Planet Pod. Since it's October, spookiest time of the year, by the way, uh-huh, Mason, uh-huh, I'm uh-huh, just talking uh-huh. about tax time. You could, do a va- you could do vampire movies for Caravan of Garbage, Interview for the Vampire, Fright Night. I would like to do some vampire movies. We're mm. booked up for uh, October, though, for Hunger Games, unfortunately, which in a way, yeah. dystopian society keeps That's killing true. each other. Isn't that the real vampire? That is very true. Uh, but, yeah, I don't mind that idea. I, would li- I watched the new interview with the vampire show, actually. I didn't mind it. Um, I didn't mind it at all. Oh. What about you, Mason? I'll find you an email. Don't even worry about that. Well, he's just a kind one while you're doing that. Oh. It's from Lexi who says, hey, guys, just wanted to write and say I really love the pod. I actually listen to it when I'm editing for another podcast that's significantly less fun than yours. Oh. Yeah. Thanks for making the mind-numbingly boring hours a bit more bearable. Ah, oh, you are welcome. Thank you for the kind words. Um, What's the podcast? Tell us. I went to your Twitter. I couldn't find it. Yeah, right. Yeah, but uh, it's a mystery. Maybe it's like, maybe it's like, a, like an intercompany podcast podcast or something, you know, like how to get the best out of accounts receivable or whatever. How do you do that? It's a whip, right? It is a whip, yeah. It's the threat of a whip or just do it using the whip. That's right. Yeah, cool, cool. Mm. Wow, kind words all around, Mason. That's right. All right, there's going to be an extended pause while Mason finds the letter. So, Collins, you can (laughs) edit this out or have a little nap. (laughs) And I might work on my memoir. Oh, there you go. Dear Diary, today I did some dumb stuff. Can you read this? Yeah, that's right. Can you read the reflection off yeah. my glasses? Basically? Yeah, that's right. Exactly right. Not only did I do some dumb stuff, I'm not even proud of it. Oh, no. Yeah. You should be proud of your dumb stuff. No, Here's an email from Kieran, Kieran about the book club. All right. Hey, lads, how are you going? How about for the book club you cover Do A Power Bomb? I really enjoyed it and I think you might too. That's from Kieran. Do A Power. It's about wrestling, I think. Okay. We should cover some... Stuff that we don't know? <laughs> some stuff we don't know, you know, because, I mean, you know, we talk about... You know, it's it's a, a lot of the stuff we cover is like you know it's superheroes, obviously. Yeah. There's you know we'll do like zombies yeah. and like what whatever's in the zeitgeist thing. But there's that. There's a comic book called Meet Me in the Pit, which is about like indie, like 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 punk music. I Ooh, think. Oh, okay. So that would be that would be cool. I think. Speaking Let's branch of the, out. Speaking of extended stuff. Oh yes. This week at Big Sandwich, we played through Rebel Assault too because oh, we yeah. wanted to get that Star Wars flavor. Mm. Um. So it was a it was a Star Wars game from the '90s, which was the first since like. The original trilogy, and I guess the Ewok movies, to use live action actors, yeah, to great mm. effect. Oh, very good. Uh, so please check that out if you are subscribed over there. It is exclusive. Mm. Yes. Got another one, Mason. Yeah, here's an email from William. William, it's about the creator. There's going to be some spoilers for the creator here. Yeah, uh, there'll there'll be a time code to jump ahead. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. right. Okay. Hello, James and Mason. Just got back from seeing the creator. Thought it was brilliant. It's great to see an original movie for once. And even if the scale of the Nomad was a bit odd at times, I don't mind as the targeting lights on it was very cool. I agree. That's true. Uh, a question I had: Has Gareth Edwards been unlucky in love? Both this and Rogue One end with people getting blown to bits hugging each other. Oh. Or do you think he just uh, hates hugging? It's a great question. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, break it up. Yeah. I think he's married. Yeah. And has been for a while, but I don't go. know that for a fact. Did you know he's a fun he's a fun uh, wedding maybe he's, ma- he's a fun marriage fact yeah. that I just learned. Okay. You know Matthew Vaughan, the twisted mind the 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 being that contains the twisted Ooh, mind of Matthew yeah. Vaughan. Do you know he who he's married to? Is it me? No. Who? You'll never guess. Greg Kinnear. No, you were close though. No, I wasn't. It's German supermodel Claudia Schiffer. I would never have guessed that. Yeah, me neither. Because I said Greg Kinnear. Yeah, that's not even. And I don't think Greg Kinnear's gay. No. 
Yeah. And he's American as well, he's and he's, American, not, Claudia he's not Claudia Schiffer. I don't think he's ever been a supermodel. No. no. I mean, he could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, wow, really? I mm. would not have picked that. Mm. There you go. Crazy, right? It's crazy. Supermodels exist in the same way that they used to. Is that really a thing now? Uh, I don't know. Not really, right? Because oftentimes I'll see an ad for something, and it'll, like a, you know, it'll be like a perfume or something, and I'm right. like, is that a model or a famous person? Yeah, is that a model or some some famous person's kid? Yeah, right? <laughs> yes. Exactly, yeah. It, both. Mm, yeah. Is that a spoiler for the creator? Yes. <laughs> okay, great. I put this in the start cut before that. There's going to be some spoilers for the creator here. Yeah. Uh, there'll, there'll be a time code to jump ahead. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. right. Okay. There we go. Now we fixed it. Now we fixed everything. Oh, Colin's fixed it. Colin's fixed it. Mm. Um, Generally speaking, because we quite both quite like the creator. Yeah. Not everybody's loving it. Yeah, I know. Whatever. Yeah, that's, that's fine. I think that's fine. Yeah. I mean- it's um I just thought maybe, you know, again, we talked about it, not like maybe the best story, like the most complex story, but I just love the making of it, the mm. universe, like the craft of it. I love I love yeah, all exactly. of that. That's yeah, why, yeah. that's what really drew me in. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um uh do you think he is unlucky in love? Or do you think I, couldn't find I, I think it's more just that he's he he just wants to end on a I think a he just wants to end on a bang and a bittersweet note. Yeah, okay. you know, a melancholy thing of like well, I did the thing, but you can't have it. You know, you know, we can't give you a fairy tale ending every time. You did time, the thing, you know? but you can't. That's right. Can't Get out of it. here. Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. All right. Uh, here's it. So next week, Mason. Go on. You might be. You might know this, but it's going to be our five hundredth episode. Whoa. And we still haven't decided what exactly we're going to do. That's right. We were thinking Snake Eyes, and we probably will end up doing Snake Eyes. Mm. There's been some other suggestions. Here's one from James Michael Parry, who says, "Don't know if you are marking the occasion by looking back, but favorite film and favorite show from each." each of you in the last 10 years. Whoa. I don't mind that as okay. a concept uh, right. to do, yeah. Okay. Just from the year we started to now. Yeah. Um, what do you think? Or The Exorcist 3 or whatever. No, 5? <laughs> what are yeah. they up to, 9? Yeah, let's let's celebrate the 500th episode <laughs> with a with a movie that's getting 25% on Rotten Tomatoes or whatever it is. <laughs> yeah, cool. I don't think it's even going to be fun bad. No, apparently it's boring. Well, that's a shame. That is a shame. Um. Anyway, I like that idea. Yeah, a little retrospective. Um, That'll be fun. Yeah. Uh, or we could, you know, uh, we could talk about the evolution of oh, we talked the that, landscape, the entertainment landscape. We have something we were going to do a few weeks back. Yeah. Oh. Do you remember that we were going to do? Oh, yeah. Like big kind of big moments in cinema that kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. big eras and it's like it's 3D and it's mm. the first blockbuster, summer blockbuster. That's true. It's whatever, you yeah. know, just every maybe. Yeah. yeah, we could even talk about like. You know, podcasting. The podcasting. We can talk about like the pop culture, you know, blockbuster landscape of like where it started when we were there and mm. where, where it is now. Yeah. In the toilet. In, it is in the toilet. It's yeah. In the toilet. That's where I like it though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, going to find one more email and all you're right, going to well, love it. While you're it. doing that, I'll sit and finish my memoir. Okay. And anyway, when nobody looked, I did a really successful flip. <laughs> um, and it's a good thing nobody saw it because they probably would have made me president. <laughs> and I, quite frankly, don't have the time. <laughs> oh. The end. Wow. Oh, this is going to be really good. Wow. Should I make it a big sandwich exclusive? Your memoirs? <laughs> yeah, I think so, yeah. Or should I put it on the open market? Is this a story that everybody needs to hear? Oh, that's a great point, actually, yeah. And I think probably if you put it just out there for free, people would just send you money. <laughs> okay. I, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's right. Yes. Yes. Oh, we should mention this. Yes. Uh, by the time this goes out, we were on the two in the Think Tank live show, or I wasn't. Oh, because you may or may uh, not I be Because I may not have made it, but okay. I'm planning to make it. Right. Or well, yeah. maybe you'll be there and I won't because you'll send a text. It's like, be there in five, and I'm like, I don't want to go anymore. <laughs> not that he's going. <laughs> uh, mm. uh, that's exciting. It is. Mm. You can give up, Mason. You can say, I refuse to no. find answer. No. I would give up. Okay. Is it going to any memoirs? Yeah. That's why your memoirs aren't finished. That's what it's called. Wow. I'd give up. Wow, wow, I wow. wouldn't bother. Wow. <laughs> Here's a nice poem, Mason. Go on. Here we go. Have you Just written saw, this? No, it's on Instagram. Mm. I've been getting into poetry oh, for here we real. Go. Wow. You know, like uh, Claire's yeah, yeah. always been like, you should poetry and whatever. And I'm, I'm being like. She said you should poetry? I'm finding sol- solace in poetry. You Is know? she okay? She said you should poetry. You should poetry. <laughs> I said you should see a doctor. <laughs> but um, here's one. Mm-hmm. Uh, it says. The ending of one thing is also the beginning of another. What is the next adventure? There is room enough in this life with its many endings, its many beginnings, for things you could not have imagined last week or last year or 10 years ago. That <gasps> relates to us. Wow. Keep moving. Okay. There you go. Well, look, here's, look, I'll, here's one, one last. You have a poem e- too? Here's one, no, well, in a way. Here's one last email. Uh, this is from Marcus. 
I was meaning to bring this up. Marcus. Uh, but, I, but I'm glad Marcus has emailed in to, about this. Uh, hey, guys, love the pod and been listening since episode six. Just wanted to let you know that Star Wars canonically changed jizz music to Jats music. <laughs> Why? How preposterous. They, Thanks for the laughs and motivation. Wait, they can Marcus. or they have? No, they have. Oh. If you go to, like, the official, you know, the official online wikis and the, the Jedi holocron or whatever, it's, like, it's officially Jats music, J-A-T-Z. Yeah. And, it's, and it says something along the lines of, like, although some cultures it's been corrupted into other forms, i.e. jizz music. Disgusting. How yeah, dare yeah. they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, have they? do they know that Jats is a popular brand of, of, of cracker? Of Australian cracker. Is in it Australian? Australian? I yeah, I think so. Yeah. yeah. I don't like it's that. It's like a Ritz, but it's different. It's yeah. a Jats. I preferred when it was. That's their slogan. It's like a Ritz, but it's, like it's, different. It's, it's different. It's different. It's worse. We call it Jats or whatever. It's not like a, it's a bit like a Savoy the packaging is, but it's, yeah. it's different and Savoy's mm. are better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, should we leave it there? Yes, we should. All right. Folks, thank you so oh, much. Before you do yes. that one thing, <laughs> okay. Colin's going to put this at the end of the show that I think, but Benji One Lung over at his website, benjionelung.com slash the game is on. Oh, yes. He's created a song. Whoa. To commemorate the 10 years. And I'm hoping Collings will put this at the end of the show if you listen to it. There's many references. It's a great tune. It's got oh. a good music to it. Did you recognize all the references? No. Yes. Yeah, so Most I, of them, yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I haven't listened to this song, yeah. but I bet I won't, will be like, oh. It's not about, it's not for you. That's true, it is it's not. It's for me and the listeners. That's great. For people who care. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, thank you so much. And to people have just been sending wonderful art. And, very yeah, um, very and nice messages, that. yeah. Uh, so... And uh, yeah, and I but maybe we'll shout some out next, some more out next week. Oh my god, maybe that, yeah. mate James. How about this next next week episode five hundred? Just we, it's just us reading out self reflective shout right. out. It's just it, people. It's us. Kudos. It's just us reading emails from people saying how good we are. <laughs> <laughs> Two hours of that, our longest episode ever. Oh my god! Oh, and then oh, this yes, guy says please. we're good. Yeah, this guy said, yeah. he said we're. Oh, real we funny. changed this guy's life, did we? Not a surprise. Yeah, I mean, uh, what so, else is new? Take a number and get in line. <laughs> guy whose life we saved. <laughs> 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 anyway, we appreciate all. Of we this. absolutely this do. That's right. We, uh, we appreciate all the listeners. Thank you for tuning in every week. Yeah. If you've been doing it from since the beginning or just started last week. Well, like the 40 people that listened to the start. Yeah, those 40 people. Nobody, anybody who listened to that is not here. Oh, well. Yeah. Well, well, I well. assume. Anyway, yeah. go on. Maybe they'll, if you're, if you're a liar. Maybe li- they will. If you're a liar, email in and yeah, say Yeah, tell us you're a liar. Tell us, tell us you're a liar. Yeah. Folks, thank you so much for listening. Thank you uh, for telling your friends about the podcast. Yep. Because uh, that is how we get new listeners. And thank you for leaving a five-star review on your podcast catcher of choice. You can probably do it in an app. Yeah, definitely. Give it a whirl. Just give it a whirl. You definitely can. Yeah. This one's from Jason Smitherman, who says, five stars, by the way. I'll read out anything that's five stars. That's right. Says, it's 2023. If the Joker can be pregnant, I can update my review for my oldest, nearest, and dearest podcast. Thanks, guys. Psst. Pretend I said something clever. I thought it was I, – I'd com- this clever that you brought up the Joker thing because I'd completely forgotten that. Is he pregnant? Remember there was, there was like a controversy because there was like a panel or a dream sequence or a cover oh, I see, where right. the Joker was pregnant and they're like, what, the Joker could be pregnant now? <laughs> he turned Gotham River into jelly once. You can do yeah, whatever. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's absolutely true. And this one's from Licky uh, – no, sorry. This one's from Rick S who says five stars, Licky Licky, Poopy Pancake Marching Band. Congrats, idiots. I own the Weekly Planet now. Wow. Congrats. He left five stars. Us, so yeah. That's I mean, fine that's, for us. That's totally a fish. <laughs> uh, folks, uh, if, you want to get, if you want to get in a contact with us, you can go to weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. Yeah. You can also go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group as well as the Weekly Planet podcast subreddit and Discord. Yeah. Uh, thanks to Amazie and Sarabi and Fidel for moderating those great forums. Yeah. As well as doing TikToks and Clips channels and all sorts of stuff. And presumably TikTok dances. That's probably doing They probably all get together and do a TikTok dance. They would. I love that. Uh, if you want to follow some people on the socials, first follow our friend Rob Collins who edits this podcast and makes videos and keeps everybody updated on all the comings and goings of the Weekly Planet podcast. Completely you can agree. follow him at the Weekly Planet. You can follow him at Raw Collins. Yeah. How about that? Uh, you can also follow me, Wikipedia Brown, on Twitter and Nick Mason on Instagram. James is Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. If you want to support the show, you go to patreon.com slash Mr. Sunday Movies. Chuck in a buck or any amount you wouldn't miss or $500 for the 500th episode. Just give us five hundred dollars. Just send us five hundred dollars. Yes, just do just that. Simply send us. $500. Simply send us five hundred dollars. We won't shout you out. No, but we will have five hundred dollars. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you if you send us five hundred dollars and you left us a five star review, then we'd we'd shout you out. Yeah, but you need to confirm yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, or if you're big, if you're a big spender, 
but not as big as five hundred. Don't send us five hundred dollars. No, don't do that. that. That's <laughs> where we'll be. We'll be fine, actually. Yeah, without, without an imaginary five hundred dollars <laughs> from a weird, mysterious benefactor, it'll be okay. We'll, we'll be okay without that. You got a big sandwich. Co for nine US dollars per month. Bonus podcast, movie commentaries, early videos, video game let's plays, all sorts of bonus stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. Very good times. Yeah. Uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. Go to tpublic.com. Search for the Weekly Planet. Get a T-shirt or a mug or a pillow or something. Yeah, don't be a mug. Don't be a mug. Get a mug. Get a mug if you want a mug. Oh, but again, oh, you don't have to. Oh, yeah. oh. All right, next week, maybe some of the things that we said. Yeah, maybe that. But probably Snake Eyes. Or maybe we'll forget it's the 500th episode and just yeah. do a regular episode. That, that'll that almost certainly happen. Like one of us will send it, the other one a text and be like, do you know the show's out? And we'll be like, oh, better do that episode on the show. Yeah, buh, 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 buh. <laughs> Did you know episode two of Loki's coming out? <laughs> Whoops. We're going to do an episode on it. I bet if we had five hundred dollars, we'd remember. That's right. <laughs> but don't send us five hundred dollars, yeah. just to clarify. We're just saying if we had five hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm just saying if I had five hundred dollars. That's right. All right, thanks everyone. Grab that, Jeremy. Guys, we'll see you next week. Goodbye.